Welcome to the OSRS podcast, where we talk with RuneScape content creators about RuneScape content. I am Mitt Cat, one of your hosts, followed by... What's going on, boys? Rakes, as always. And it's me, Rice Coat. So today, we're bringing back a cold one after, you know, some time. He's, he's been here many a times, but this year has been, like, insane for uh, Cold One, because he's done some... Basically, the Half first the time... Yeah. The first time ever sort of accomplishments, which he'll, you know, we'll, we'll get into in a second here. But yeah, how's it going, Mr. Cold One? It's very nice. Very nice day so far. Hope you guys have been uh, enjoying yourselves today as well. No, not at all. But yeah, I'm glad you're having a good one. All right. <laughs> not bad. It's been windy, man. Uh, why are you named Daddy, by the way? Or do you and Rice just have a nice little relationship we don't know about, man? You know, Cold One's the daddy, dude. You know? okay. <laughs> He's taller. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to no. do thing now. You put that in front of my name. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, you're, you're 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 the you're the adults of the community, all right. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys don't know about a cold one, do you do YouTube? I know you stream, obviously. Do you upload at all? Uh, very far and few between, but not like consistent uploads. The hell but you have a YouTube, that? right? Yeah. So you know, YouTuber definitely streams a lot of insane PVM content, and I guess we'll be starting with a Q and A for a cold one. And I want to go first. I just got to ask because since we've had you on the podcast many times. A lot of times. It's a good time. <laughs> and you've just quietly grown your channel, which I think is awesome. How does it feel to have a community of your own now? You know, because you have a very strong one. Does it? How does it feel? It's honestly kind of nice. And it's kind of molded around, like, my, uh, my personality and my mentality. So we're all, like, somewhat like-minded people, which is kind of cool. Didn't do anything, Man. like, you know, fake, like, you know, like, you know, oh, big giveaways. Like, you know, big bond you giveaways. Do giveaways, like dude? Didn't pump numbers like that, so it was just like just normal. Do you do, um, nice. Do you Dude. do what they call uh, borrowing from your viewers so you can go stake at the duel arena? What the a fuck? No. Debt command. <laughs> yeah, what were you saying, Rexy? That's, no, that's, had... that's a whole completely different topic. I'm not going to tension on. <laughs> I was going to bait just, you into it. Sorry. Uh, talking about a cold ones community, man. I had uh, one of my members of my community say to me the other day. They were like, "Yo, a cold ones really cool guy." And I was like, "Yeah, man, I like that guy." And uh, he's like, yeah, he just talks about crack all the time in a stream <laughs> and something about being a crackhead. I was like, what the fuck? He lives in New York, oh, no, so. that, that's That's a big meme. Like, I don't, I don't actually do any drugs. I don't think of... Yeah, but that's exactly like, what somebody who does would say. So... Honestly, confess, so true. Confess. I, I did see you at RuneFest, dude. You did come up to me. You're a bit wide-eyed, not gonna lie. Man, it's it just been like three seconds since my last hit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I'm, yeah. sad, I'm sad you didn't offer me any, man. Yeah, uh, cold it's, like a, it's like a shared meme between me, Will, and uh, and Wales community. It, it's yeah, a um, good one. Breaks you with that hair, I wouldn't be surprised, man. With my hair. Yeah. yeah, metal I guess band. To say, bro. I'm just saying, where's your guitar? I've got it down there, bro. Do you, Do you actually it? have one? Throw it yeah. in. You want to see it? Yeah, yeah no, sorry, I can vouch. Cole, though, move over. We got a rock star. I can vouch though. Cole, Cole one is pretty. Uh, he is pretty. He is pretty clean from all that yeah, stuff. So, yeah, a little closer. Actually. This is electric. Oh huh? dang! I, I, can't really, I can't really show you too well. Oh it, wow! It's not yeah. Actually, mine. My friend lent it to me. Oh, I've had oh for okay, like okay. Two years, so I was gonna say. Kind of is. Yo, you guys want to see something too, bro? No, oh, no. Are you gonna, nah, are you gonna pull out? What are you gonna pull out, man? We'll show you. All right. All right, let's continue, though. Yeah, Cohen's pretty sober with, with the drugs, man. You know, he, hasn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't do that stuff, you know? He does like the drink, but that goes with the name, the yeah, cold one, right? Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I think you drank me under the table a couple times when we go to conventions. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I can't that, drink that first time wasn't fair. You already had, like, a fair bit to drink by the time I got I, to the bar. I did beat <laughs> Rice Cup fair. that time. Of course so. you beat me, dude. I beat <laughs> Rice Cup, bro. Anybody, can we anybody talk can about that me. story? <laughs> Just a little bit, since it does pertain with Coldwood. Yeah. Sure. What What was that? Was that TwitchCon? No, that was right? PAX East That's 2019. PAX yeah. East. We're going to meet a Twitch <laughs> moderator there. They're having like a content kind of creator bar. You can drink whatever you want. I get rice. Um, what's that thing where you drop it into the cup? It was some, oh, Irish. It was Irish car, Irish car bomb. bomb. Yes. Irish car bomb, dude. He has one of those and he is in the bathroom for 50 no, minutes. No, I had two, bro. I, I, <laughs> I had two of them, bro. I had two of them, man. And I had a couple stomach, beers okay? and those bobs right. and I fucking forgot Rice was gone. I was just like <laughs> hanging and one of my guys goes, Hey, where's your buddy? 
I go, what? where did he go? And I think he went into the bathroom like 30 minutes yeah, ago. No, actually, I had two of them. And then like, yeah, 10, 15 minutes later, I was like, yo, I'm tired. <laughs> I was yeah. tired as fuck, so that's then, that's what um, those shots do to me, man. I get hella tired. I swear I've seen uh, pictures of you like sleeping at the bar, <laughs> dude. It, I, is, like, is that generally accepted? No, 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 no. I, I know. I like I like power nap for like a minute, and then I wake up, and then I and, and then it happens. Call them micro naps. <laughs> oh, that's where your first sleeper emote came from, from that one yeah, time. Yeah, freaking hell, man. I always, that's my favorite thing to do at conventions is take pictures of rice sleeping at bars. <laughs> it you was tough. Get oh, definitely. It's tough, man. It's tough. But man. then a cold one came yeah. over, right? He's in this story, and I, and I ended up blacking out. And Bryce was the winner because I, I don't think he drank as much afterwards. So oh, hell I would no, say, bro. I, I will take full responsibility for that because I showed up. I want to have a drink with you. And you're like, how about an Irish car bomb? I'm like, why one? Why not two? No. <laughs> and you, you couldn't say no to that. I couldn't. I really bro, couldn't. He, and then yeah. I woke up. <laughs> yeah, bro. He turned into basically like. A no, okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm, just, all right. I'm not going right. to put it. Rakesy's Q and A starts now. All right, yeah, you yeah, got a question yeah. for a cold? We'll cut that story. <laughs> for a cold one, can you wait? Hold up, sorry, I'm just blank. Come back to me, Re. You go. Oh no, I, I, I no, I was nah, nah. We're good, we're good. The, 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 that one requires a subscription. I'll go. Fee, you know, okay, you I'll go. go. Yeah, I have one more question okay. for you, buddy. Um, what attracts you to such crazy PVM feats? Are you like have a hard on for my boy Wooks, or like what keeps you going at night? Because you just do some crazy stuff with PVM. I just don't like being bored, so I look for stuff that interests me and challenges me. And that's RuneScape for you. That's like no other games. Uh, no, there's other games and stuff. Because you know other games have real tournaments and they don't just give out like <laughs> Applebee's gift cards and shit, right? So, <laughs> but I like Applebee's. <laughs> oh, it's worth it. <laughs> It's worth $1,000 for a week of Deadman mode, bro, when they got Fortnite tourneys for a mil a week. I'm, I'm just saying, I feel like I the fun. I, you're, you're right. You're right. But you do a great job. You definitely do. RuneScape so, attracts a lot of those hardcore guys, man. Like yeah, Rick. I, I don't necessarily have a question, but an observation. So I am a huge lurker. I lurk in everybody's chat. And I was lurking in uh, yours the other, the other day, Cold Daddy. And... um. <laughs> You're like, firstly, you're uh, like that brain of yours. Jesus Christ, dude. Fuck me. Anyways, so you're killing Verzik. It's uh, P2. And I was just I was just lurking. I was chilling. I can't remember what I was doing. I might have been playing Tarkov or something. And uh, I'm like watching you and you die on P3. And yeah. I was I was so fucking stunned. I was like, wait, what? Oh, yeah, I, like, I was there, I, like, too. Went, I, was I, there went, I went over to my Twitch, like, turned the volume up. I was like, what the fuck just happened? I and, then you, ways. and then you started playing uh, Legends of Zelda. And I was like, I was so blown away by it. I literally spoke about it on my stream the next time I streamed. And uh, my chat were just like, yeah, he does that sometimes. He's like, there's some times when it's not worth killing the kill for some reason. So I was hoping you could give me some insight into that. Or but was it just killing? a genuine plank? Yeah, uh, if, it's no, not if I'm killing. dying on P3 Verzik, it's a genuine plank. So, like, if, I die, <laughs> if, I die, if I die in Maiden or something, or like an early room, then yeah, I'm going for speed. I'm like, fuck it, this time sucks. Uh, dude, I was so, I was, I was like, I was like, wait, is he okay? I like turned the volume up. I was like, oh my God, he's just, I was like, what the fuck just happens? Like, how well, long I know, does it I take? remember which one it was. I think I got meleeed out because I screwed up like setting up a crab juke or something and I just got stomped on for like a 50. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. It was about oh, 50 boy. health, yeah. Yeah. God, what a noob. Damn, dude. Jeez. And I was just like, Wait. I saw it happening. I'm like, this is not going to kill me. I don't have to brew on this. And then it killed me. I'm like, if I brewed, I would have oh. been 100% safe. So but I was how, just like too arrogant. How long does it take to get to <laughs> uh, right. P3? Hold on, I got to turn off. I gotta, a long time. Time. No, I got to I gotta turn off the sound <laughs> notifications just in case. Okay. But yeah. Oh, by the way, quickly, quick intermission. So we didn't mention it. <clears throat> But we have a brand new, as you guys could probably oh, tell, yeah. we, we've updated the, f dude, we've gone all out. Look how Thanks. sick this looks. Yo, boys watching the video, if you guys prefer this one or the old one, I know you prefer this one. Let us know what you think. And shout think out to my clean. boy, Torvis Prime. And what he told me is when he made this thumbnail, or sorry, overlay, he said, if your first video doesn't get 300 likes... I'm never gonna make another one for you again. So, no. what do you sadly, mean? we gotta get 300 likes this please, video. Please. Yeah, or this might be the last upgrade, man. We're no, giving no, upgrades, no, baby. Guys, you gotta like the video. It's free. The thumbs up is right there. You, all you gotta do is just Yo, scroll down. Yo, even the guest says it. so. A cool too easy, man. Okay, now we're gonna get into our age now. You know what the <laughs> best part about liking the video is? It's free. 
You don't got to pay me. anything. You just got to go click, and it helps out the channel. It, it's it's a win win. Yeah, we get Dude. better upgrades in the future, bro. Just like raid Shadow yeah. Legends. Yeah. Welcome that to the, the YouTube new algorithm. Downstar. Requires that please like the damn video. The YouTube algorithm <laughs> is telling us. Sorry, we just yeah. have to sell out, man. It works every time, but we're yes. we're probably gonna keep the uh, podcast going weekly. Hopefully, Hopefully we'll see. Yeah. We're getking back on track. Yeah, we're gonna talk trying. about hot topics, get the best kind of creators on, and just kind of bring more hype into what is right now kind of a slow, slowly sloping <laughs> RuneScape. Because uh, there's yeah. still a lot out there, man. Still a lot of people. Beautiful community. Uh, OSR's podcast, baby. That's what I'm talking Dude, about. Man. I mm-hmm. mean, we were just talking about it before the uh, the podcast, and I think like. If there was a historical timeline for old school RuneScape, like this would be like the Great Depression because there's just not very much going on. People oh, like boy. the economy's failing, and God knows what's going on with Jeez. updates and so forth. Like it, it's, I, I'm kind of like I'm kind of on one hand worried, but on the other, I'm just like, there's no way they fuck this up. There's no way. Like, they, they, I all I see on Twitter is JMod saying like uh, we're really excited for this year and stuff and. You know, it does look like they have some good content coming out. And I mean, um, something that I actually wanted to ask you and uh, a cold one about you, Re, was um, so they're bringing out a hardcore mode for TOB and they're also bringing out like a story mode. Um, So I wanted to hear what you two had to had to say and think about that. I know that Re had a uh, tweet that he posted regarding the easy modes. And uh, yeah, I'd like to know. I love Re's tweets, by the way. Just gotta say, I love those I, tweets. I post rarely, yeah. but you know, I go ham when I do. <laughs> yeah, I know. I read that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I love, it. dude. I swear, it started with like, I don't tweet very often, but I can't. Did you just stand. sit there like? So I can't stand around and not say anything. I read it. I was like, oh Honestly, my god, he's going. I, you know, I had to. <laughs> okay, call one. Call one goes first, of course. Okay, so when we talk about the the whole like top release of easy mode and hard mode. Yeah, so uh, opinions in. opinions and takes on both of those. Because I know Re has a different opinion to me, so I want to hear what you have to say as well. All right, the hard mode I'm excited for just because of some new challenging content that we're going to get. And I'm hoping it's not going to be like a carbon copy of what they did with Chambers as Eric, where they just scale everything up by 50% and call it a challenge. So Probably is, we though. can confirm that they're adding new mechanics, because that's what it says. I can't, I can't confirm that. Oh, and on the blog I think, did. I think the they said did. that. Yeah, they said there was going to be more special attacks. If I'm not that mistaken, would be awesome. yeah. So I imagine like uh, Sota. Is it Sota? You know the uh, the big old Stegosaurus. The what's he bloody called? The thing that drops dark bows. Dark. Oh, bees. dark bees. What's Stegosaurus. his name? Is it Sota? Sota Seg. Sota Seg. That one. Yeah, the Stegosaurus looks like right? <laughs> Stegosaurus. It looks just like that boss. But um, I imagine that it's just gonna go top. fucking mad with like shooting out those balls at you. Like, I imagine that shit's going to be crazy. Yo, it's going to be I like want... playing like crazy hard mode on like Guitar Hero Yo, or something. I want the blowflies to f- to chase you around the different sides and also shoot you with different attacks. Oh my God. <laughs> and it'll only, should... stop, it'll only stop when it goes down. And then. You yeah. know what they should do? They should just let people <laughs> sit around when you guys are bossing and just like maybe like an oak bow and bronze arrows and just start chucking it at the people doing TOB. I think that would make it a lot harder. Be like little immense damage over time and it'd give me something to do. Yeah, yeah, I mean, first, first, man, we need to take you to a normal TOV. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can take him. We can take him on the easy raids. Uh, yeah, probably be more mode, of his yeah. base. So, you know. All right, so it's all. So okay, what about story yourself, mode? Boy. What's your view on okay. that, Cold? What's your, what's okay, your that? it's it's not necessary, and it's the only content that's gotten easy mode release for it. Yeah. Like, imagine if we made easy mode Cox or easy mode God Wars Dungeon, or like baby mode Kraken, if you could even imagine. <laughs> Thing. Baby, baby mode. Right? Mode. Like, there's already multiple resources out there if somebody wants to learn Tob. Like you've got the We Do Raids Discord. You've got multiple streamers that take Z- learners and zero KCers for free. Like you don't have to sub to them or anything. I mean, I think there's one that does, but most of them don't require you to sub. They require you to just tune in, just join when they go live, etc. Just get up for a raid. They give you a little safe space where you can like come and experience the boss fight and everything. They're pretty seasoned and get you through to a KC most of the time. I agree, so, man. I feel like they should okay. keep hard content hard. And I can't even do the hard content. So that's coming from mm-hmm. someone who it would probably help, right? Yeah. If easy content came in the game. But no, so, hard content should be hard. It gives right. you something to work for as well. Like if everything in the game is easy, then the game will just get stale and boring and you'll burn out faster. And that's what a yeah. lot of people are feeling so, like right now. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. I, th I think I probably have a different take on it than all three of you and by the sounds mm -hmm. of it. Yep. Um, so I personally don't think it's a bad thing for one specific reason. Mm -hmm. uh, and that being the loot that you get from it. So they have basically said that there's not going to be any, you can't get any uniques from it. You're going to get like a really bad basic loot from it. Okay. Um, and for that reason, I'm okay with it. And I think there's a lot of other things to bear in mind with this. So the whole, you know, there's a lot of resources out there for people to go ahead and do these things. Like we do raids, for example, which I would highly recommend for getting into raiding and so forth. <clears throat> I think what Jagex are probably trying to do is they know their audience and they know that a lot of people are quite lazy and they're probably trying to take that like third party step out of the equation. So it's like instead of having to do all of that, if they really did make it quite easy, you could just get like your newbie PVM friends together and be like, yo, let's practice on this thing. And then once we get half decent, maybe we can try to do a proper TOB run. Um, I would have a huge problem with it if they made it so that you got any unique. I'd be totally against it. But the fact that you get nothing from it, to me, it just seems like a good gateway into getting more people to do TOB because there is a step and there is a process of having to get yourself in the We Do Raids Discord and try to find people to raid. Yeah. So I personally think that it's a good thing. Uh, and I was interested to hear what, what Ree's take is on it because I know that he's very much against it. Well, all right, all right, I'll try to be brief, okay? But like basically, I've, I've already, you know, heard those points in the, in the tweet. And... And as all, as positive sounding as that is, it's actually not good for the long term of the game because think about it this way, right? The TOB is uh, considered top three hardest content of the game. Yeah. Okay. And what happens when you already have so many more people doing it already, right? Like it's already at a point where it's so accessible and, and you want more people to access it when there's nothing harder after it pretty much right in terms of group content so what happens when everybody's already there right and then we just get more people that complain that there's no content in the game and then we also get this problem where the items which are already really bad you get more of those items coming to the game and nobody's gonna buy it nobody wants it because everybody's already there our, our, everybody's already reached the top and there's literally nothing there next right and then you just have even more people complain that oh i'm quitting because there's nothing to do or i'm quitting because the rewards are shit because like the value is not worth it and, or I'm quitting because I've already beat the game and there's nothing to do, right? Like from the PVM yeah. side of things. And so, and so to me, it makes no sense why there even needs to be a practice mode because there's nothing harder after it, really, for people to like, you know, segue towards, right? Doesn't it make sense maybe if it was like no longer the hardest thing and there's something even harder for people to go for next? So like, it's kind of like, it encourages people to kind of, you know, make more progress towards reaching the end of the game. But like, if you're literally helping people reach the end of the game faster, which doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. And also crashing the price of items even more, which makes no sense that, to me. That does make a lot of sense. Right. I didn't know that the unique items weren't in. Actually, I didn't know anything about this safe mode. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Really I mean, follow. like, at least if they wanted to do a practice mode, it should either be like, I don't know, you got to pay some money to, to do it because that or way just no kinda... loot at all, maybe right? Yeah, but the, you, you also get. I mean, you don't get uniques, but you st you do get loot and you get unlimited tries, and it doesn't cost you anything to try. You get you literally it... use no supplies. They give you, you they literally give you supplies. I'm like, so it's like super like unnecessary, you know? Like why is why are they trying so hard to push everybody to to the, literally the end of the game? Do you want more people to complain about the fact that there's no new content coming out for the past two years? Like, you know, meaningful content, right? So it's like, there's there's no need to artificially rush things. Because, like, we have power creep, right? Like, eventually, the content just gets easier anyways because we get better gear, right? So, like, <clears throat> why, so why do we need to also make the content itself easier, right? Like, it makes no sense. Yeah. So I, I do get what you're saying, and I do agree with you like to a certain degree mm -hmm. um but i think like the overall picture when it comes to like the general player base yeah. and i don't disagree with what you just said about like the price no, going yeah down i think it's stuff. somewhere I totally in the middle agree. you know i think it's somewhere and in the middle here i also agree with you saying you know it's one of the top three hardest piece of content in the game completely um but i think the and i'm not saying this is right or wrong but i'm guessing from jagex's perspective it's like 
there's a lot of high-end players. Like, let's be honest, it's only mm-hmm. high-end players that are complaining about the lack of updates. Because if you're not a high-end player and you haven't done TOB, you've got so much shit to do, it's like you have nothing to complain for, right? Yep. So I think that they're probably just trying to, you know, for the sort of mid-range accounts and people that are just getting into PVM, trying to assist them on their journey in order to do it. But I think you're totally right. Like, once they actually get to the point where they can do TOB from that, Mm -hmm. you know, it's like there's literally going to be nothing for them to do but there's probably a staggering amount of players that have never done TOB sure. and wouldn't stand yeah. a chance unless they're getting hard carried. Yeah. And um, I, I think if anything, like from this entire conversation to me, it just sounds like I, I, I still don't necessarily think it's a bad thing, but I definitely feel you on the whole, there's nothing to do afterwards. Yeah, so like I'm, there should be. I'm saying there should the, be more uh, content. Yeah, I'm saying the context of this situation is a bad thing because of course, like if you're a content creator or or developer, you're like you <clears> want people to try the content, right? But like, but like, there's a time and place, right? Like, it, does it make sense to you? Like, like let's say the max kit, right? Does it make sense to you if they just made scaling so much easier that fifty percent of the player base gets a max kit? So what's the point of that goal, right? Like, it, it doesn't like even we're matter. slowly getting there, though. Right? It, like, it doesn't matter. even matter anymore at that point, right? That's why I don't care about skill capes at all. Not even a little bit. Yeah, but like I'm just saying, if it reaches that point, which it isn't, but like let's well, now, say I'm saying like now, I <laughs> yeah. just. Yeah, I see a skill cape. I'm like, yeah, trash. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, like, you, so like, Yo, yeah. uh, my question to you, if I can quickly, right, is like, so with that being said, a time and a place. So let's say, let's theoretically say that at this point in time, we have raids free. They're working on raids four, and they've also added some other random boss comparable to like corporate nightmare into the game. If that were the case, and there was a lot more stuff to do with that time and that specific theoretical time, do you think that would be a good time to allow this? Because I, I completely uh, get what you're so saying. The answer because was, this is, I, I yeah. didn't get it at all when I saw the yeah, tweet, and I yeah. wanted to know what you meant. So I, well, I'm glad that I mean, you've, I only, uh, I only used, explained that. I only used that as an example, because that tweet was more about just them dumbing down the game in general. And I just used the story mode as an example. But, like, yeah, the story mode I, I, would, I would be okay with if it costs us something for people to, to do because it's free like what i would i would be down if you had like, to pay like what's yeah. the point of doing all these death punishment reworks if you're just gonna let people learn the highest level Dude, content for free it makes no that would be sense. a sick <laughs> update though like imagine if you, you know, could just like, fight yeah. duck but yeah. you have to pay like a mil but you don't get anything for it it's just a practice round like you could do practice so, rounds yeah and you like pay. if they do story mode then and you have to pay to try okay sure, that would be know, like, really yeah but yo so. speaking of tob because we are yeah. kind of really getting to this We're one almost, topic yeah, it's perfect. we got the expert of tob yeah. mr um first first before you explain your tob a uh, journey there, a cold one. How about you explain that profile picture to you? Because I was saying earlier, yeah. I thought that was a new Mortal Kombat. All right, before so. I explain that, maybe you should take back those words. Uh, Rixie just not too long ago mentioned he was watching me and I died right at the end of the raid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of where we left off. Even experts die, I guess, you know. Yeah, yeah see, this is, this is why we need the easy mode raids for. Get all the cold water over, bro. Yeah, I have to go like back to the tomorrow. basics. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really should. Yeah, what yeah, were you saying about, about the... What is that profile picture, dude? First all right, so this is like right after I got the completion. Legends Art had drafted up this, and he made a tweet about it saying, it's an old school RuneScape player wearing a girlfriend's helmet. Can you guess who it is? And someone showed me the tweet. I'm like, that is fucking sick. Like the resolution on it's really good too. Nice Shout like out to Legend for a band. Art. Yeah, he makes amazing stuff on Twitter and Instagram. A lot of RuneScape art guys. So Legends Art, very very good artist. Insane. Yeah. Um, what about your Tob journey? I haven't been keeping up with all of it, but I do hear about your um, your uh, achievements every every now and then from my Twitch chat, man. Oh, uh, let's hear. Where do you want me to start? Do you want me to start? No, right? Do you know where you should start? Start with uh, the one that died. Start with the inspiration. You know, I guess. <laughs> um. Well, no one had done it. I was thinking, like, you know, maybe a hardcore could do it. Like, it was shortly after I got that Guthans clear. I remember Rice was there for that because yeah. he got the clip for it. I still mm-hmm. see clip by Rice Cup, but Hell yeah, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. So he was the quick. first person to do tob on a hardcore solo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 That's. Insane. Yeah. So, how long did that take you to build? Um, if we're counting the account that died from my power going out, a year and two months. If we don't count that, about seven months, I'd say. 
how, what were you feeling like when all of that time and you were, were starting to do the TOB on your hardcore? Like, what was that feeling? Uh, other than like two minutes in the aisle room, about the same as like when I do it any other time. Balls of steel, huh? Okay. Yeah, like yeah. Ten, what, 10 hours a day, seven months? Yeah. You know? um, so. Probably close to that, yeah, because we were like getting into the thick of the pandemic at that time. So it was, yeah, just after poultry died, we had a, we had a bit of a hurricane. And we weren't supposed to be getting hit by it for a while. And I was at Hydra. I'm like, I got like another trip in me before the shit hits us. Like, it's going to be three hours before the storm actually gets to Agreed. us. Or get close to us. And uh, yeah, I posted a tweet like just after I died from my power going out. I was like, yeah, Ring of Life didn't go off. And uh, here's the culprit. It's just a picture of this tiny little tree branch falling on our power outline. That's why your account was named the tree. Okay. No, that's not why it's named tree. No, that, no it's not. That further prophesies the tree. You know, <laughs> the plot is about to thicken so hard. So you remember, uh, remember Runefest 2019 when a certain uh, person got into an altercation with two content creators and hid behind a tree for 20 minutes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> So I, no, I actually knows. don't know the story of this, but you were talking about it before the uh, the podcast. Yeah, might as well add. Yeah. Like, might as well it's not like something you want to say out in the... Oh, is it? I don't know. I'll, I'll TLDR it. Basically, the dude uh, got into an altercation with Ron Plays Games and Ginger Beardy said some things he shouldn't have said. Uh, one of them swung a punch at him. Security mm -hmm. got called and <laughs> broke it up, but they were both giving him dirty looks. So he ran out of the, uh, he ran out of the hotel and just hid behind a tree for 20 minutes. I saw yeah. that picture, and it's, okay, it's literally okay. the smallest tree and the biggest dude, and it's the best combination. It's yeah. yeah. Okay. So after that, I just I don't know. That's I saw like, you'll picture. see a bunch of hardcores running around, especially <laughs> like Zach has tree in his name as well. Like the reason tree is in hardcore's names, it literally just started from that after I named okay. one hardcore. It was a Frasier funny picture, tree. bro. Uh, it was on Twitter. <laughs> the picture. I'm yeah. super glad I asked because that's that's amazing. Uh, 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 that is that's, great. That's where the whole tree there's thing started. Always, there's always some like really like. Like corny, like drama that happens at Rufus, yeah. Oh, every man. time, every year, literally every time, every time. Yeah. Every year. I, I that should mean, be a podcast. I wouldn't say every, every time, but drama. it's happened. It's happened a few times. Dude, a podcast yeah. about just Runefest drama would be great because there's there's some stories, man. There really oh, are. Yeah. We won't cover them now, but there are some stories. Mm -hmm. um, has there been anyone else who's done hardcore TOB solo? So no, no, and I don't think anyone else is ever so going to try. Are... There's no points. <laughs> Do you think they should just give you the game at this point, like CEO or something? I already have the game. It belongs to me. It's my game now. Okay, so why am I not invited to RuneFest, dude? Um, <laughs> it's in the mail. All right, thank you. All right, no first problem, time. No That's what I'm talking about, dude. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we went over a TOB journey. I don't know, right? Should we? Is there mm -hmm. any more details? Like you said, you know a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, I mean, this. yeah, the background leading up to it, though, right? It's like. You know, like before even the hardcore, you were you you've been practicing Soul Two before. Like how many years? Like two years? Uh, ever since I got the first KC back in like early 2019, I think. Yeah, so it's been early, like a no one early and a half 2018. Years, right? Yeah, it was early 2018. Yeah, you were consistently like, like doing to solo to be it since then. So like, yeah, I mean, in a way, that kind of like just shows you what it would take to even try on a hardcore. You know, is that you would have to have as much experience as you did right Getting yeah and i was there point. in guthans not in not yeah. in scythe and best in slot i was there in rags yeah dude like you need you need Damn, his level of attempts you know, and practice beforehand to even think about if it, it was easy someone <laughs> else would have done it he exactly, is the only yeah. person you know how many people have done shit that's so hard on runescape and then someone else has done it and then a lot of people have done it but not mm -hmm. Not like a one person event that doesn't really exist in Runescape. Not, there's yeah, nothing not that only many, one yeah. person has only done because mm -hmm. there's always someone who does it again, even like 200 mil sure. or all. Mm -hmm. It's always someone else grinding it out. I don't know. Do you think anyone else is attempting to go for the hardcore Ironman TOB? No, nah, because there's no reason to. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> there's, yeah. There's, no, it. <laughs> there's no point going for second place now, especially yeah. when you risk a hardcore, anyways. Yeah. I, I think giving some context to Cold One for this would be good as well. Because there might be a few viewers that don't really know what the uh, solo TOB entails. Because it's pretty goddamn intense. Yeah, give us the rundown. Start to finish. Alright, so it's the same rules as like group TOB on a hardcore. Where if you die in any of the rooms, your hardcore status is gone. Like, that's it. Your journey's over. But you're doing it in solo, and it changes a few of the rooms. Where two of them, you're spending most of the time on 1 to 3 HP. And that plus yeah. hardcore isn't exactly like the most... Uh, shall we say 
fun enjoyable mix of things <laughs> yeah but it's the, there's right. no other way around it like you're required to be that low of hp yeah you gotta you be much, a lot what's you your inventory like for the majority right mm -hmm. what's your envy rock um I had Mystic Rope Top and Rope Bottom and an MSBI, and those got dropped on the floor after Nihilicus, so I would lose 360k every attempt that got that far. Uh, there was a Kodai Wand, which I got really lucky at Chambers for, and that actually changed how I played the account leading up to it. Like, I skipped the 50 Vorkath grind and MA2 cape, which I planned on doing MA2 the night I got the Kodai, because I had a few friends that were, like, ready to go for it, and then I got on, like, I'm not risking it anymore. I don't care. I got... The rarest item, probably the most game changing for the run. So I'm only doing like all the other stuff I need to do. It was all safe grinds as well. So it was just free to get there. I would have done the Major Arena Cape like maybe a couple of weeks after the account was made, man. You, you just holding off that long. I mean, I know you didn't do it, but some of these guys rocking out in the wild. I, I was on someone in the wilderness, 2100 total hardcore Iron Man. I have it in one of my videos. He lived because he ran deeper in the multi and gapped me. Balls mm. of steel. Just I, I don't know how people are staring. Nothing yeah. to lose, is, man. I remember there was one guy that was like camping Mage Bank. What's his name? Elial fourteen, I think his name is. Oh yeah, like, he was always there. So that's why I was holding <laughs> off. I was trying to like track what hours he was like playing in because like, he has people to go with him, and I'm like, I got to make sure it's like at a time when I know he's going to be sleeping. Yeah, that would well. be a rough death to a streamer too. Oh man, does he know yeah. that? Does he know that? What that I was tracking like when he plays? No. I've never spoken oh, a word to the dude. Right. That's hilarious, man. See, yeah, track, dude, baby. There was a lot of things I tracked before getting into like actually doing the thing as well. But we'll get into that like further in. But that was one Damn. thing. I, I had to like make sure and then I knew I was like, okay, here's where we're going. I'm gonna do it after I end stream tonight, like three thirty AM Eastern Standard Time. Like we'll gear up four AM, we'll start going for it. We'll get it done in less than an hour. And yeah, then then I got a code I am like and then like no. Nah, there, there's still a small percentage chance. I'm making sure that percentage chance stays at zero until I actually get to the damn theater. Did they still go for their capes that night? No, it was all no main account. It was all my buddies who had main oh, accounts. Oh, sometimes like a bunch of go together. So. Oh no, no, no! What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. It was like a pot of whales. They'll just go out and hopefully hell? more group numbers. Could you imagine like you barrage club like seven, twenty one hundred total hardcores? <laughs> like, oh, years God. gone. Years gone, right there. Oh man. Mm -hmm. So. Yo, a cold one. When you, what part? Two questions. What part of uh, TOB solo would you say is the hardest part? And secondly, you're quite a chill guy. You're very laid back, and I like that a lot. How did you feel? Like, were there any moments when you did your attempts when you were just like, heart racing, sweating, or were you just completely chill as a cucumber the whole time? Uh, well, both those questions are funny enough the same exact answer. The Nihilus, <laughs> I think, is the hardest part. Because you're managing all three roles and making sure at least one pillar survives. I have no idea how time. you solo that room, by the way. Dude, we struggle killing that room when we have like three people. I don't know what people are doing in that room. So I have no idea how you actually do that. Yo, he has but, the whole ways memorized. There's that too, oh yeah. That's Jesus, he, dude. You know, in, a, in another life, you could have cured cancer if all that worked, you know? Uh -huh. like, yeah, why, why didn't you? Dude, you should have become a doctor, man. No offense. Anything. You could have nah, saved one. Nah, hunger with that effort. Oh, man. Play video games. Yeah. You could be doing like heart transplants and shit and just memorizing it. Like, <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Easy Make peasy. over $100,000 a year, tons of stuff. But, nah. Both my parents are animal doctors or veterinarians. I don't want to get into the doctor field. Oh, that's pretty cool. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. I like it. I, mm -hmm. I got. So the TOB journey's over. At least from what I know, is there another like is there another goal you're going for right now? Anything else? Well, right now I'm working on a um, like kind of a budget version of Rakesy's, like you know making money from scratch kind of thing, and I'm almost done with it now because I got rather lucky. <laughs> yeah. Oh damn, dude! What what did you yeah. end up getting? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm doing max cash from scratch on an account, like assuming. Oh, I, well, I was like, saw it's that. To, it's yeah. kind of like emulate, like you just got hacked on, like you know your max combat main or something you got maybe some untradeable stuff around that got broken or whatever yeah so now i'm at just above two bill and it was pretty fun up until the point where i ended up getting a solo bow drop and it feels like i just entered a warp pipe in super mario brothers and just skipped a bunch of levels yeah dude like the I whole point exactly. of gear progressing was so nice yeah so, although it you know sometimes it's not a bad thing because like you might end up going like a few months now just dry everything 
Like that shit happens, dude. But yeah. I, had a, I had a similar thing happened a few few months back. We got a, a duo Tebow, and that was just like 550 mil just given to me. I was like, oh my god, like I'm almost done now. Like mm-hmm. I'm so close. But then since then, uh, my bank has gone down probably 300 mil <laughs> because of the because of the prices and stuff. So oh, I'm actually yeah. further away now than what I was before, which is kind of <laughs> sad. Oh, I feel that. Get an extra TV. Very far away from my goal. Very yeah, far. Uh, let's be honest. Everybody's bank's va- like nominal value dropped a lot, but relative value outside of GP is still the same, though. So prices, yeah, I, like what twenty I, bill I, Iron Man just just yeah, kind of. Like, I, it probably dude, dropped twenty percent. That's got to be harsh. That's got to be. Harsh. I always say I that, dude. I get GP, so many dude. people coming in my chat asking me about like the economy and stuff, and I'm like, bro, I don't fucking know. But like, all I do know. It's like you haven't technically lost anything. You still have the items you had the other day. They're just worth less. But well, like, yeah. here's a way to look at it, right? It's like this isn't just one item has crashed. This is everything across the board has crashed. Yeah. So yeah, no, but no, but your uh, T-bone might be you worth yeah. two hundred mil less than what it was. But then, like, you can get yourself like a torture amulet for like ten mil. It's yeah. like they're not even ten mil anymore. Out. Yeah, exactly. I are guess. they not? How much are yeah. they? Yeah, they're under ten. Elzenis are under ten. Yeah, wow. another another way to look Fury's at it. Fury's a mil. Yeah, that's that's really bad. Uh, another way I've to never known that before. Another way to look at it is if you if your items have gone down, but you also needed to buy items, then you 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 bounce out. Because everything's yeah. cheaper to buy. But now, I'm just now, scared yeah. that what's going to happen is like, you know, what happened to World War or Germany after the wars. Oh, stagflation. And, yeah. Yeah. And they have like barrels of money and they they go and they turn that in for a piece of bread or something, you know? Could you imagine hunt? Like, you just, you got all this hey, money or like, I guess it's the opposite of that, right? It's because probably, all the items are super cheap and you have all this gold and you just buy yeah. whatever the hell you like want. The, the, that's yeah exactly this this issue is more about like there's more supply coming to the game right but there's not an increasing demand to meet it so yeah, that means yeah. people that get the items they're like oh i can't sell it for this price well i gotta you know i gotta sell it for lower Pretty and much. guess who buys it for lower the like the lower level players that didn't have the money before to buy it at that price but they have the money that they have and it's just hot, you know it's just enough to meet it feels the like now. that so. is uh uh, indicator that RuneScape may be on a, a downward path. To yeah, maybe. right now it's on a, on a it's on it's, a slow. It's year. not even an indicator. It's, it's an absolute year. fact. But it's, yeah, it's just tied to the fact be... there's not been there's not been any updates. It's like as soon as there becomes like a load of PVM content, what do you need to do PVM? Oh, I need to have Bandos. I need Armadil. I need to have myself my torch amulet and so forth. It's like the prices will go back up, uh, but right now they're just not. But I do have a question for you boys. Random question of the day. So do you think? If we had discontinued untradables theoretically, like party hats and such, do you think the same thing would have happened? And if so, do you think the party hats would have gone up in price if that was the case? Because people would just be dumping it into the untradables? I'll hit that question first. And I wanted to like kind of say that we should have a podcast on the RuneScape economy and we should try to invite flipping old school because that would Ooh, be... That's a good idea. That'd be very good. So let us know if you want that. Um, if there mm-hmm. were those, I remember getting one of those blue party hats and selling it for five mil. So if they would have just kind of never put party hats in the game again after they did that, those items would be so valuable, mm-hmm. so crazy because it's supply versus mm-hmm. demand, and all we have is a bunch of supply, right, of all this gold and items. But if there's like a limited limited amount of supply for these hats, they would skyrocket no matter what, right? Just look at RS three; it's the same thing. What are those hats going for? 10 bill? A hundred bill for the blue P hat. Ooh, I saw a trade the other day. Yeah, bill? yeah, yeah. And people yeah. don't even like it's rune it's runescape. It's, so, right? it's such a limited school. item now. Old school, you could probably pay off a house, one of those bad boys. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Those party hats. If they were limited, they're not, which kind of sucks. Uh, I yeah. wish they were. I wish they I, were. I just wonder if if that was a thing in the game, whether they would just go up in price or whether they go down, or maybe that would maybe even just like so i can talk only from my own perspective right my own opinion which is the back in the old day when you had party hats to aim for the universe was the limit it was like you could never have too many party hats that just wasn't a thing do you know what i mean it's like if you had a party they hat held set, their price like, well, right yeah they well they only went up but it's yeah. like if you had a party hat set you went for another blue 
when you got the blue, you went for a white, then a red, then you've got another party hat set when you finish the rest off. Um, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I'm a big, like, I, I wish there were or was something like that to aim for. Just because, like, realistically, like, with the prices right now, God, you probably got four bill in the bank. You can buy every single item in the game. You know what I mean? And it's like, once you have every item in the game, is there really any point in having another one? Not for me, at loved least. For there to be discontinued items in our server, but the community voted no it's to too it. Too late now, you know. Yeah, I think the community game. doesn't even know what they want because most people were like, "Yeah, I wish I could have." Well, a rare back party back had. then, the community was very didn't even want the grand exchange or god wars. Yeah, they so, were very conservative because everybody was now, fearful. And now er, nowadays, people are like, "Oh hell yeah, easy, you know, easy escape, easy escape, everything, you know, no wieldy." Money, money, you know. Yeah. It's like I will, uh -huh. I will say, nice. I think the mentality's changed a bit now. A lot, <laughs> no, like a bit is I, I, I had a look at the poll the other day for all the recent stuff that's being like polled, like the tob stuff. Some of that, some of that stuff was in like plus Bro. ninety percent for it's yes. It's a landslide, like, wow. dude. It's a landslide. Everybody, Everybody. Yeah, yeah. Like they just want content, and I totally well, get it. Well, and no, like, not just content. They want easy scape. <laughs> You know, they want clients. They want everything, man. Yeah, they want they want the freest nerfs and watered down, you know, possibilities that that they can get, dude. That's that's it. that's the unfortunate part of of of. of mm -hmm. It's a contributor actually to why items are cheaper. You know, it's because a lot of people now can access a lot of high level content at a much easier rate than it's ever yeah, been. Items are dumping in the game, like yeah, Onyx's, exactly. Yeah, one mil fury. What that's happened to my three mil fury, man? I mean, there's like, a lot of factors, right? Obviously, there's uh, you know, the Vennies doing their thing, you know, but this, but but it's not all all because of them, because because guess what? Before they weren't really doing a lot of PVM, but now they are, and and it's because throughout the these, and it's partly because throughout the years, Jagex keeps offering all these nerfs to high level content that you know it incentivizes a lot more than just normal players to do PVM. It incentivizes the Vennies and all the other you know. <laughs> farmers right they're like oh wow it's so much easier like let's go you know like i, I call them the black di bandits Apparently, yeah the bandits uh, like the banditos yeah. they're all over there now and it's, so they keep know. saying it's racist i'm like oh i didn't so, know yeah. <laughs> so everyone just says yo, it. yeah i have a proposal for you yeah. guys uh, and i want to hear what you guys have to say about this especially you a cold one and then so, um, we jump into the um do we the next yeah yeah did we ever do that did we ever finish the solo tob stuff though the story yeah, oh, yeah. We, yeah, we're done with this, but oh, let me just do this in a second. Okay. So, yeah. the proposal. I said this the other day, and I only got two uh, responses which were, like, negative to my, my idea. So, obviously, you know, I think having item sinks and gold sinks would be really good. We were talking mm -hmm. about how there's a, there's a gold sink when it comes to the casino in the game. And uh, I was just, like, the absolute most obvious... The golden ticket, which just stands out above all else, is the Grand Exchange, okay? And I'll, I'll say my piece first, and I'd like to hear what you guys have mm -hmm. to say, but, like, if they were to just throw, like, a 1% tax on all transactions going through the Grand Exchange, and let me just preference that with the Grand Exchange is by far the most overlooked service that we mm -hmm. have in this yeah. entire fucking game. Yeah. It literally connects your items to a seller, to a buyer, and it's across every single world. And they it got charged. Every, yeah, Please. it, it takes it. every single bit of hard work that used to be finding somebody to buy your item or finding someone to sell your item to, negotiating a price. You put the price in, you wait for it to sell, right? I personally think if they put a 1% tax, just 1%, and it could be more than that, but maybe start with it low on any transaction. So you're talking mm -hmm. like if you sell a twisted bow for a bill, you lose a mil through selling it on the, the grand mm. exchange like can you cool. imagine how much money would like leave the game and i'll quickly tell you so i had two responses to that which were like negative towards it uh one of which was uh people might end up getting scammed for tebos right because they don't want to pay that one mil and i was just like you're blowing my brain dude like That's that doesn't tag. really make any sense it, it's yeah. a silly thing to say it's like you know whatever there might be that idiot that does that and two was somebody saying uh, people that do flipping are going to make less money. That yeah, was that okay, was the two so, negative responses I had. So, well, let's start with a cold one, actually. Yeah. He hasn't 
Sure. All right. So the flipping thing I wholeheartedly get because I used to do a lot of that in pre EOC. Yeah. Because I would make money if I was just like being lazy. I would just like throw in offers, like tab back to my schoolwork, tab back like 10, 20 minutes later, log back in, see what updated. Like it was really easy to just like make money without having to like worry about doing something because back then death mechanics were a thing. So I couldn't like AFK Slayer without risk of dying, losing some stuff. So I like that, uh, that you can flip and make money like that and make an easy buck if you know how to play the market. But at the same time, yeah, it, to add on your idea of like adding a 1% tax, there was something else. I don't remember where I read it. Where Was it about taking an item out of the game when one was bought or something? When enough are bought and sold, yeah, one item just gets deleted yeah. out of the game. Wait, what? Yeah. Which like is a... I, 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 it's, it's another idea. Uh, a cold one. You explain it, dude, because I haven't seen the post, but somebody somebody yeah, mentioned I, it. It, I was it, like, wasn't wow, a, it wasn't a post. It was in a Discord. I don't remember which one. It might have been like, dude, I don't remember. Oh, uh, regardless, you're talking about the picture of items being low price. No, just regardless of like where I saw it, it was an idea where after enough of like an item, let's say a Bando's chest plate, after like a oh, hundred of them yeah, are bought and sold, and it's mm. built up to one hundred percent tax or something. Yeah, the GE um, would buy it out and then delete. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Yeah, the I GE would that. buy it out at whatever price is going to buy it at a certain time and just delete it from the game. I like and that idea. Money why. that was collected via the tax tied to that item and pays it out. Now that code would probably be a nightmare to write. Mm -hmm. But it's an yeah. idea that would so, like, gradually take items out of the game and stuff. It's still and, a really good foundation for an idea. Yeah, though. I can expand yeah. upon the the two ideas though when you're done. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. So Rexy, you you were talking about like just GP sinks, right? In in the tax. Yeah. So I yeah. mean, so the issue really isn't. I don't think the issue right now is, is necessarily about the amount of GP in the game, right? Because because if cheap if items are going down in price, it's actually more of an indicator that that it's it's not about the, there's too much GP. It's that there's too many items, you know, right? It's more about the item supply that that is being you know that's that's the main hurdle right now is that I, there's so many items but not enough people buying it that the prices are constantly going down, right? And, it's, and the prices, because like you can look at it the other way, right? If it was inflation, actually, even if there was so many items, the prices would still be about the same because there's so many more coin going around. But I think we already have enough effective GP sinks. You know, all those staked taxes, I guess, is doing their job, right? It's, it's like really depleting a lot of it. But right now, the items, though, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> and I think Just that, to add that, to that. Yeah. Go Just ahead. to kind of explain why there's yeah. less GP in the game and why everything's gone down because of that. Look at um, an update that happened fairly recently. I know Mint knows this one, and I'm sorry to mention it. The Rev Cave uh, changes. Yeah, Making it all huge. singles plus combat, no multi-way. So, <laughs> and plus nerfing the drop table. That was bringing in liquid gold into the game. Just <laughs> oh, flat coin nuts. over and over. We, we spent some good time in there farming those on irons. And it, the it amount of money you get from that is ridiculous. Yeah, it very toxic, but it was... Now it's trash. Wild. Yeah, a lot so, of wild. Yeah. Yeah, but like, yeah, man, it's just there's so many items come to the game, but not enough people to, to keep buying it. And and the goal, you know, the goal is relatively kind of stable right now. You know, there's just not mm -hmm. like a crazy surplus of raw GP as there used to be. So, so yeah, I think the death, you know, the death reward. Remember the, the whole thing like long ass time ago when we talked about that stuff? I think that was one of supposed to be something that would help with that. But the problem is people just just abuse like GP instead of, you know, you know, like getting rid of actual items like Bando's chest plates. Yeah, so, even though like, you get more value out of doing it. Yeah. Because like even all... then, if you want to fill your coffer since everything's going down, yeah. now's a better time than ever to throw it in there since everything's going down. Like, let's say you buy a Bando's chest plate for, let's say it's 15 mil right now. A week from now, it's down to 14 mil. You could have chucked that 15 mil in there and had an extra mil compared to what you would have done next week. Oh, uh, yeah, because it saves whatever you, you deposit for initially. Yeah, plus five percent of whatever its value is. Yeah, so so it, like the, you dropped an item. Mm -hmm. The death system would have been like a way to get rid of it, but the problem is that people only like sacrifice dupes, you know, like like rune plate legs and shit, you know, those things that barely matter. Mm -hmm. Nobody's really dunking barrels items or you know or like bandos unless you're like an Iron Man, but you know most players that affect the economy obviously they're not gonna do that. Yep. So, so yeah, I mean, there, this is an issue that I honestly didn't think we, we, we needed to solve yet. I thought it was going to be something that would have to be addressed like in two years from now. Because obviously it's inevitable, right? At some point, it's going to happen. Because back in the original RuneScape, that was the same problem, right? Is that at some point, there was just too many items. 
and they they there needed to be a way for it to be deleted, and they fixed that in R three quite a, mm -hmm. quite a while ago, like five years ago they fixed it when they introduced the invention skill. So so in R three like even stuff like barrels items and all that they're all still like a mil plus because you know because all those items they get deleted from the game for for yep. like you know through the skill and through the use of the perks that you get from that. There's incentive to do it, right? But like right. right now, there's no incentive in old school to do anything like that. So it's either they can copy it or they can create something on their own. Like the GE thing where it buys out after 100% tax has been met and deletes an item. I mean, it's never been done before, but I mean, it would help for sure. But I don't know if, if it would be like, like crazy enough, I guess, to really, you know, delete a lot of it enough, I guess. I, I wouldn't know. No, I don't think anybody knows. But well, it's a start. I don't. <laughs> it's a start. I have though. something, something to add to this conversation regarding where you brought up the revenants and how it was just pure cash getting pumped in. Now, call me an idiot if it's a stupid thing to to question, but if they were to just revert that and just bring back the big, the big money revenants in Morty and cause a little bit of inflation, increasing the prices, mm -hmm. it doesn't sound like a good thing to do, but. Do you guys think that'd be an awful thing? I don't think the, it would uh, fix the price problem, problems though. to inflate. Can I just say I want to go back on that last question, man, because I really like the Rixie. That's a, a tax on the G of one percent. Um, if you guys don't know my series, I've been failing in merching, right? So you think I would be against a GE tax. But I also think that if you're gonna merch and make money, it should be strategic. You shouldn't just buy sharks for like, I don't know. 10 GP less and sell it for 20 GP more, rinse and repeat. Because if there's a one percent tax it's going to stop people from exploiting those prices. That's going to have a major impact overall, and merching is going to be a brain strategy and not just a number strat. Also, um, the 1%, I'm thinking every 100 items you buy and it deletes one, maybe in order to reverse the tax, people could just burn an item themselves, and then they won't have to pay that tax until uh, they get their, their money back through trading. So if you have too many... Tassies, you just burn a tassie. Now you got like 25 mil that you get, and you don't have to pay 25 mil in taxes. And I feel like that's codable, and it takes items out the game. I don't know. Kind of a cool idea there. Just wanted to throw that in before we yeah, jump Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, like you're talking about items, like GP tax, right? I feel like, you know, it's not, a, not, not that big of a concern at the moment, right? It's just more of an item thing, but. But well, yeah, as long as you yeah, get that yeah. item burning in with the GP yeah. tags, I, I, I mean, still you, think I mean, you can you can have both. Yeah, you're saying yeah. you can get both. Sure, I I, I wouldn't There's, necessarily be against it. I guess it's just uh, it's hard to calculate just how big of an impact it would be. So, well, just I mean, like I'm, any GP, um, well, like GP, item the item burn more so item sync or GP sync. Uh, it's hard to calculate whatever it would be, but no, we I all mean, know. but the oh, thing is, right? Yeah. GP is a bit easier because it's it, there's so many GP syncs in the game, so they are, they already have tabs on that. But like how like how it would burn items would be a different story though, because it's never been done like that. We've yeah. never burned items like that. That's what I'm saying. Like so. <laughs> it would probably be hard to get like uh, a code to just burn every hundred items, right? That'd be wild. But if someone would just burn an item themselves, say they they got you know an iron. I guess an iron man wouldn't use a GE. But, but like <laughs> yeah, I mean it, if the economy is mainly normal counts anyways. So, Yo, yeah. big brain idea. What about if you can sacrifice any item in game and you get an XP boost? <laughs> oh no oh no the skill are no XP I guess, for an hour <laughs> you know now that I, now that i think about it, though i think the idea i think the, the idea is a pretty novel idea and it actually has a lot of promise because think about this way right what if what if the one in 100 burn rate is not even fast enough right but it's it's still showing results right it's showing that it's slowing down the decline of the prices they could literally burn two in every 100 items you know they could like adjust it or whatever but i guess that's also pandora's box because but because then it'll be like how much should we burn what what should be the burn rate in the ge right there's yeah. a ton of questions on top of this question of yeah. course but overall like, right. like but the direction i, 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 I right. imagine you know what i mean yeah i imagine having the likes of god ash on the uh the jmod team and the fact that he's been around for such a long time i i'm sure they're not oblivious to this and i'm sure they're working on something i don't know about that one bro I, no, hopefully no, they're no, always no, working no, on no, jagex no, no, and they pull their fingers out and they you know they do something about it and speaking of jagex and doing something about things uh so we were going to discuss a cold one's friends uh yeah. being banned on his hardcore for playing on a, a certain client 
and I don't know too much about this. We so shouldn't, we we shouldn't give them the I am also Don't new to the story, so I'm going to sit back and enjoy whatever yeah. is about to some drama. All right. So we'll start from the beginning. So a buddy of mine uses a, uh, a third-party client, and the only thing you use it for that does differently than Runelight is there's a plugin that removes the animations of NPCs that you've killed. So you can click on, let's say you're working on a blood barrage stack of whatever. Like let's say it's on a Slayer task of Dust Devils. Use a barrage. Three of them are dead, but let's say the one that's on top that you left click is one of them that died. And you want to click the stack to like keep attacking, but it's a death animation still playing, still in the way, so you get stalled, you're attacking slower. So it just removes that so you can only click on the ones that you can actually attack. Okay. So we use it for that. And a game update happened, and anytime that happens, naturally all the clients, they got to update and stuff, and new patches come out, whatever. And this client in particular, when it goes through an update and it updates any plugin, it, for whatever reason, automatically turns it on. And he was streaming TOB one day, and there were these numbers on his little nylos <laughs> that weren't supposed to be there. It, it just turned on. He was like, whoa, what's going on over here? Technical <laughs> difficulties, guys. So he, like, tabbed away, switched scene, turned it back off. And then uh, we had this... We had this... We, we call him a Reddit warrior. Went to, to bring this man to justice, made a bunch oh, of posts, yeah, like yeah. hundreds yeah. of comments in his own posts, like explain it, just everything. They got time. Uh, like, right hate, yeah. dude. <laughs> like this, this man got time on his hands. I was like, yeah, this man got time on his hands. I wish I had that kind of time on my hands. Me you too, know, man. Shit, I'd be watching videos, man. With... Straight up. Even then, yeah, like, I, I, I'd, I'd hope you'd be spending your time more productively in a happy manner, even if you did, man. For real. But even then, like the post got traction. JMods got their uh, got their yeah, eyes. Yeah, they on have it. to do damage. And a week control. later, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's damage control. So like yeah. the wool can be put over the sheep's eyes or whatever. Yeah. So about a week or so later, he's uh, he's streaming TOB and he's playing on his hardcore. And just in the middle of his Arpus, he just gets force logged out, like connection loss logged out. That's so he thought he was dead. So he thought he was dead, and then he tried logging in. Says your account's been disabled. And he got a nice two-week vacation because of that Reddit post. Now, this has caused a very interesting thing to happen. And I think it's the first time this kind of thing has ever happened before. Where normally in TOB on a hardcore, if you log out during a room, it's an automatic death. Like, no questions asked. You're dead. But if you go look at his account on the high scores on the hardcore, his name's not crossed out. Yo, he's still it's alive. Crazy. Yeah, it's, it's like, weird. So he's like, what if I just, <laughs> yeah, like, let the time run out? Like, he asked the JMods. None of the JMods, like, know about this. Like, what would happen? And, like, they also, like, came into a stream, like, half an hour later after he got banned because he made a post about it on Twitter. And, like, the JMod saw so he's like, uh-oh. So they had so to clarify. To they, they, didn't, they didn't... They had to clarify they weren't doing it out of spite. Like, just to make an example out of people who use clients. I'm not going to delve too deep into the client topic. It's probably a web developer. It'd be, it'd be safe because I'll start yeah. going off you. Yeah, regardless, they wanted to clarify it's not, like, a spite ban to, like, send a message to people or whatever. They just, like, didn't know where he was at the time. It was just, like, an order, like, okay, give this account a two-week ban, went off to the team, they did it, and he just happened to be there when it went off. So he's trying out something interesting where he has a bunch of membership on the account right now, so if he tries to log back in anywhere, it'll put him outside and then probably cross his name off. But what he's waiting to do is for it to run out so he gets force logged into free-to-play instead of going through the death process of being kicked out of the TOB instance. Hopefully it's and not a maybe... one-year membership. <laughs> Yeah, just maybe he's still alive, and if he's dead, then he got a permanent ban, not a two-week ban. But that's the JMod shit. Like, if they're going to give someone a two-week ban, then they better make sure their account's safe. I mean, that's literally their fault. Just like when ModJed supposedly hacked all those people and they actually gave money back to those who were hacked, right? They got to fork up what they did wrong. This yeah, is but the thing is, this is different because those people didn't break any rules. Well, most of them didn't, or some of them didn't. Yeah. But he no, technically did, did, you know. Technically, like, Swain was breaking a rule. I'm going to give you like kind of an example. Someone goes to jail. They serve their time. They come back, yeah. right? They're a citizen. They serve their time. They should get all their rights back. They should, right? Mm -hmm. Not their <laughs> hardcore. Political, right? But if you go through the crime and you've paid the time, then why the hell are they going to take your hardcore? It's not like you get banned. And if you died because of the ban, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, like, it's like a little weird. Yeah, the thing happened to Dovi a while ago where he got banned for using like another client like years ago, the HD one. Yeah, but it, yeah. and it he got like banned false, while he was in Zambi. It was like a false detection or something. Yeah, yeah I don't want to the client itself. 
too far into because I'll I'll go off on clients. But overall, I, I, first time hearing this story, I, I hope his hardcore survives because that's very dumb in in my opinion. Just first time hearing that, just super. Yeah. I'd be I'd be pissed. I'd be super. Well, we got another month and a half of waiting to find out. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Yep, dude. I, it makes me really sad, man. That Jagex have really, in some ways, sort of like verified what these people that are going to reddit and like bitching about it, uh, they've kind of verified tough, what man. they've said reddit that's well, sad out. dude like I, I think there's miners dude that's just, what it is bro, like, like if you're loud enough have you if you complain someone it's, just, has it's like i expected bro, more from jagex on that no, bro but, that's but just like, like, what? It's like elementary shit bro. they they can't do anything about it because you know why reddit old school reddit is so big it has like what dude, 350,000 people yeah, on there they're good yeah, hey, that's like more than the average. Dude, yeah. I'm a it's fucking RuneScape content creator, and I don't even have an account on that shit. But have you? No, like, but I love the old school Reddit. Reddit. I've actually been looking at them a lot more. I love no. their memes. But most of the top Reddit is like, oh, I was woodcutting for four months. I finally got my beaver, ten thousand upvotes, and then yeah. like, no, it's crazy. Cares. That's what's upvoted, bro. It's it, like, do you really it, give a community who just woodcut? No, wrong, woodcutting. That much power. Yeah. Why? Why, dude? Like, yeah, right? But, uh, they can't, yeah, they, they have. They don't. They don't have a choice because they have to do damage. <clears throat> damage control, pretty much. When dude, I think. I think there's two very important lessons that should be learned here. One from the guy who got bans. Maybe going dude, forward, not client, bro. to use clients yeah, that are bannable, uh, even though you weren't breaking any of the rules or anything like that. Clearly, it's maybe not a good idea. And then to Jagex, maybe context. Context matters. Be a little I feel like yeah. I I feel like just like if they would have just taken a sec, like if they're gonna ban somebody, it, and the guy streams actively, it's like it took an entire like did you say a week or two weeks after this happens for them? To yeah, ban it him? was close to two weeks for them to ban him because of that. Post. Like, how how hard is it just to get the context and figure out you know oh crap this guy actually doesn't use the stuff which we are against he was just using the client. Uh, but either way, like, oh, you're saying, there. just have a brain. Well, no, no, I feel like, no, I feel like the band's proper. But like, the thing is, is that in a special case where it's for damage control reasons, they should follow up with the person, like, you know, see. We're what, not saying what that the band's not proper. We're just saying. I know, I know, but proper. like, but I'm going. Yeah, exactly. I agree with you. But like, I'm yeah. saying, I'm saying, like, it is a weird predicament, yeah. though. I'm saying, in a, in in a situation like this where it's not because they detected it, it was because it was from outside source. Right and and then they verified it right and stuff. In, in those cases, they should check up with that person just in case if things like like oh he 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 uh, he got DC'd in the middle of a you know like TOB right where you know the death status stuff can affect the hardcore right. In those cases, they yeah. should have a contingency plan like oh if if you get kicked off for whatever reason, then they should guarantee you a hardcore back. Yeah, I'm saying like they should have a policy for something like that. I, I always had an idea, and before, I don't want to get into a tangent, so we'll just jump into our next topic, which is going to be about leagues, right? We're going to talk about leagues, but I always had an idea, if you were to ban someone, just put them in, like, jail, right? Yeah. So, say, oh, they just teleport you into a little jail cell, and then you have to physically mine, like, 2,000 or 4,000. Uh, yeah, wherever right? you are in. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. It would make people not want to bot ever, and say <laughs> if they picked up botting on your shit while you're mining coal, it just doubles it instantly, it doesn't even tell you, you know? Yeah. It would be fantastic. This man would be okay. You could have people throwing tomatoes at these people, mining coal. That'd be hilarious. It would, be, and they wouldn't even get the coal. They would, just, it would disappear. It would just be a make waste. Make mine pure essence. <laughs> it's it only like be. one GP, you know. Actually, yeah, make them ru- make them RuneCraft. Literally, just sitting there <laughs> just for two weeks instead of being two week ban. They got to mine for two weeks, bro. They they got to be alive. Yeah, they got to do two weeks worth of mining in. time, active login time. <laughs> that would be that would be what I would I would want to go. That'd be but, so uh, funny, dude. I I always love that idea. Yeah, but let's jump hilarious. <laughs> I'm into down. Leagues, I man. vote I vote for that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. So we kind of we all played leagues. I, I don't know, Rakesy. Did you play leagues? I think I saw you at the silk stalls or something. Rock I mean, Mate, oh, he was there. <laughs> I smashed it, bro. I smashed did we, my league. Didn't we have a wager or something? Like uh, if I were to win, you would TB for. Something like that. Yeah, I, dude. I, hey, listen, man. I'm I'm happy to come and TB whenever you want me to, bro. Like you might actually get some kills then, but then again, I might. <laughs> out you. Yeah, if I get a kill and then you split me, what? What was that tar again? Terramin tar? I couldn't even sell. I couldn't even sell that. 
Horrible splitter. Dude, All it right. said it was um, worth something. I, it was like 100k of it I as gave well. it to my viewer. It couldn't sell on the GE, bro. It was a four mil split. You give me two mil and I'm like, tar. Horrible. Bro, <laughs> it's like fool's gold, dude. He gave you two mil of fool's, fool's I'm gold. I'm glad I was drinking. All right, that's how Mate, you should have chucked it into your coffer, man, with death. Oh, yeah. I, I, I won't accept it. It's too low value. But, um, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. For leagues. <laughs> To kind of say what we're talking about, let's say uh, what our favorite league is, uh, what we most like about leagues or adventure and stuff, and then what we would probably look forward to if they were to do another leagues. Hopefully, at least. I know people want Deadman mode, but I really want a leagues. So, yeah. Um, let's start with a cold one. He's of our guest. Of, so. of course. Uh, well, if you don't mind, I'd actually like to ask about everyone else's journeys because I know all four of us took very different paths in Trailblazers. Some spent a lot uh, of time you, in our. You go specific a question then. I guess you yeah. go first. So we'll just go with this one. Like, what was uh, just starting from the top, start with Minty. What was uh, your exact path? Like your goals when you played league? Um, so the first one, uh, it was in Karend, and I didn't. I've never been to Karend, so it was just to explore. And I think day two, I kind of got really hooked because I ended up being ranked forty something, I think, overall on that league. Uh, it was a bit repetitive, but. You know, it got me excited. I loved the little, you know, the boxes and the XP and the I loved that part. League, the second league was where it really, for me, was just amazing. I was trying to do the mage build. I didn't go, what was that really overpowered teleport? Can't remember. Come on, Crystal Last Memories. Three, swing, of, swing of Memories. Come on, yeah. man. I didn't go that. Crystal so the whole league, I didn't go about it. So next league, I'm going to go meta. But last time, I didn't go meta. I went like all sorts of horrible I didn't stuff. go meta either, kind of. I barely made it in the Dragon <laughs> tier playing like 18 hours a day. But I got to say, <laughs> the last league was phenomenal. I felt great. I played a ton. Great content. People loved watching it. And um, I just I felt the PK blood leave me, dude, and the skill blood injure. I just I just couldn't get enough, man. I yeah. loved it. My journey. I was uh, I was a major. I uh, got unlimited dueling ring teleports, which sucked ass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, overall, uh, rune crafting was the worst. I actually yeah. literally got 400 kicks being out rune crafting. I got the 99. That, it was so was funny crazy. watching. Yo, it's so funny watching Minty like use Dick Sight necklace to go to like the Earth, <laughs> Earth, <laughs> Earth altar, and make so like garbage. Earth runes. <laughs> That was oh, the most garbage time. Other than that, it was great. I loved oh, it's it. It's hilarious, man. dude. Yo, no, I was enjoying like my one mil runecrafting XP and R, bro. Crystal memories. Yo, Dale Essence. Dude, even mining Dale Essence was like a mil an hour, dude. It was great. I would have dirty <laughs> stuff for that. I regret my build, bro. So much time wasted, That's so man. Funny. So much time yeah. wasted. I can't believe I maxed, dude. dude. I, I, I maxed yeah, either. Man, that's something else. I I literally mm. just played leagues to uh to kill the nightmare. That that was the trip because they had an increased drop rate, and I'd never seen an item from the nightmare before. Did so, you kill the nightmare? Yeah, yeah, I was killing nightmare, but it kind of just got to the point where I was just like, "Why am I doing this? Why don't I just log in the main game and actually do this?" Mm -hmm. So that that was basically it. Like I I completed Gold Wars minus Armadillo because I had no use for any of that armor. Uh, went to tob did a lot of tob same thing again why am i doing this why don't i just do this on my main account mm -hmm. uh and then i went to the nightmare i saw an inquisitor great helm in someone's name and i pretty much quit shortly after that <laughs> like i i don't know man like leaks it wasn't really it's not really my cup yeah. of tea, to be totally honest i guess, with you. I guess you're you're dead it's dead not really that much for me you're a dead man what's that fair enough you like dead man mode. I guess much. also, let's yeah, be honest. I like, I like PKN, man. I'm not so much into leagues. Yeah. You do really well, like, dude. Get, dude, mm -hmm. get an XP on an account that gets removed. To me, I don't get anything from that. But I understand why people enjoy, like, you know, the progression. But for me, it's just, it's not my cup of tea. Well, yeah, Yo, also, next week, I, can, I can chase you with a skull if that helps. Yeah, Jeez. also, <laughs> uh, you know, also, as I mean, as consecrators, right? We have to, like, kind of gauge your interest in the content too right so i mean a lot a lot of it a lot of my interest i'm not gonna lie came from you know the, like this idea like oh wow you know viewership big time you know so when it started dropping right like i definitely f uh, f lost a bit of the motivation right but like i mean it was still really fun it was definitely fresh you know and but yeah. like yeah as soon as soon as you know the popularity started dying out though like a lot of my motivation kind of started waning a bit too like i'll be honest yeah. with you because like yeah, it was that i was feeling that I, I think it was fun at the beginning and then like as soon as you unlock unlock some of those like really high tier runes 
Like, it basically went from just being, like, you know, really slow to begin with, or relatively slow, and then all of a sudden, just, like, boom. Straight up. And, like, you just get a crazy XP per hour, and I was just like, I, I, I don't know. It, it, it was good to begin with, it. and then it just got too easy, I felt. Yeah, yeah, opinion. yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I have adrenaline rush every time that box popped up and I got a little yeah. unlock. Oh, I, yeah, that that yeah. was a good stuff right there. Yeah, oh, yeah. that hit me. That well, we have that fun. now. That's yeah. that's a thing they've added to the game. That, it's mm. nice, but it's like, strong. <laughs> mm. yeah, oh, so, I, like, so I agree. I, I agree with the fact that I felt like this league was definitely uh, too easy. You know, I felt like I feel like I feel like Twisted League had a better progression uh, speed. It did. it did, but in a way, this league was a little more... Thing this is, league had more variety, but it, the pacing was, was faster. It was too fast, in my opinion. They should slow down the pacing, but yeah. overall, they should mm -hmm. also balance out the runes. Yeah. I remember the whole league the I rune, spent the was not on the teleport rune and all mm -hmm. that stuff. And I regret yeah. that because obviously it was my choice to pick it. But mm -hmm. when all the J-Mods pick the powerful runes, too, and they don't really uh, pick any of the other ones, right? It's like... Well, you guys know what you're doing too. Like you're picking the strong ones. You're not uh, going for the, the bad so, ones. So you understand they're so you're so right. Hopefully yeah. some some more balancing. If yeah, yeah, for sure. Because they didn't they didn't really balance the the runes actually. Mm -hmm. Because what they no. did is they just did a different style. They just you know went for a different style, com like completely different from the original. Because the original was kind of like you either lock yourself to a skiller or a PVM or something like that, right? Or you do, mm -hmm. or your clue score, Andy, right? It was like three pass. But now, but then they split it up to either like, okay, you're a teleport melee Andy, or you're a teleport mage Andy, or you're a teleport melee, uh, ra uh, major Andy, range Andy. And they all did the same thing pretty much. Yeah, exactly. As as yeah. Of, of some runes, and then the yeah. others didn't matter. There was uh, pretty much no builds for it. So hopefully next league we'll see some builds so we have Yeah, a bunch basically of don't do the teleport stuff like that cuz it's basically if you either you picked it or you didn't and then it, it just changed your gameplay 50%. <laughs> like, well, they're saying yeah, next yeah. league cuz firstly, you remember we didn't have unlimited run, right? We had walkers and runners. That was yeah. kind of what it was mm -hmm. firstly. And now it's like we got the unlimited teleport boys and and, yeah, and not the like, or walkers. <laughs> Maybe third league is just going to be like, "Oh, we get this ability to teleport like that all over just because I feel like that was too strong, though. You know, I feel it like it was so strong. strong. I think it was too strong. When they released all the uh, the relics, I read that I was like, "This isn't even like a hard choice." I know. Yeah, it was like obvious. You know, you know, I was thinking, I was like, "Unlimited dueling rings, perfect <laughs> to the duel arena." Yeah. Yo, yeah. unlock your inner skill specs. I woke up at like uh, four a.m. to play though, so uh, you know, fair enough. My brand's low. I, I woke up like super same, early to play same. as well. I woke up at like, like three in the morning. Seven. Oh, never mind. You, hold on, you did really good on that that league last time too. I was watching, I was very impressed with your progress too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I feel like the teleport was too strong for sure. I I don't think they should oh, do yeah. that again. Or make make it next time have a cooldown because people just teleporting out of God Wars every kill. I honestly something about it just felt dirty. You know, it wasn't like it wasn't like yeah. dirty to everyone else that didn't ha can do that. It was slimy, bro. Yeah. It felt, you know what I mean? Because it killed my I mean, incentive to theorycraft. Because I was like, why do why try to learn how to do ten kill trips with this setup when I can just teleport every kill? You know? Yeah, Whoop. that right. that that's exactly. So I took that. Yeah. I think it was called Last Recall. I took that yeah. rune, mm -hmm. and memories. I mean that's part that's part of me when I said that it just became too easy. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. Dude, I, I I'm pretty sure I completed Zami, Sarah, and Bandos in one day. Mm -hmm. Like the every single item that I That's needed, fair. I had. Yeah, it was um, fast. and it was I was just too. I was just like, okay, well, I guess I do Tob now. And the thing about leagues with Tob is sure it's like slightly faster. Yeah, it's like by the same it's time, it's still like time. you gotta do every single boss. Yeah, and it's still taking like a good chunk of time to do so many runs for me. I don't know, I I. I, I really don't really personally I prefer dead man mode I know a lot of people like leagues but I, I don't really think it's my forte it's not mm -hmm. really for me yeah it's all good honestly I just thought it was too a little a bit too fast because they they you know not only did they make the drop rates faster they also made it so that you you can kill hundreds of them an hour so it was like yeah, yeah, I think you only need a one. Hours. Yeah, you only need a one big change. You didn't need like all these things stacking up on top of each other, you know. Well, it's just what so. annoyed me because I was like, okay, so make the other runes stronger. Obviously, if one's overbalanced, you still have two months to go, you know. And then it was one month. All right, you could still make some changes, I guess. They don't really make changes, but 
all the Jay mods, and I wouldn't give them so much shit if they went other runes, but they went the strongest ones. They knew what they were doing, bro. It's not like they were <laughs> over the they, they, they weren't teleporting yeah. to the dual arena together. No, they went the strongest ones, and then they Dude, refused to I, do anything about the other ones. I was like, come on, man. Man, I had some fairing. friends that were so annoyed about that because uh, I, I think it was like the clue scroll relic. When this league came out, I was so worried that it was going to be the first uh, Trailblazers again where YouTube every day was just a YouTuber opening up yeah. like a hundred clue scroll caskets. I was like, man, I can't be asked to see that. But like, so one of my friends took the clue casket and he was so pissed because uh, in one of like the, uh, the Q and A's they did, somebody asked like about it, like, were they planning on buffing it? And their response was something a little bit, he took it personally to say the least, but it was something along the lines of like, why would you take the worst rune? And he was so right? what the fuck? They, they, what? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah like you know, yeah, they, 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 talking... said, they basically mocked the people that took yeah. it, and my friend was so angry Yo, about that. So are we like, talking Ooh. about are we are we talking about like the backseat Andes? You guys all have one. I had such a good one, bro. Hilarious guy. But yeah. we're not talking about the backseat Andes, no. even though there were a lot where they should have picked <laughs> well, like, like the, the noxious ones, the ones that are like saying you suck because you did this. Oh, like, I'm talking no, about I agree. I got that every day. <laughs> I got that every day. Like you were great in your rune choices, and I would every day I'd have to say it. We're talking about the J mods who oh. respond. Like oh, that. what the fuck? No, that's what I'm on. saying, dude. No, they understood the that they were powerful. You it's your job. Oh, it's your literal job. You know what you're doing, All you know right, they're get, powerful. Yo, we get Ma Huskies next time and confront him. It's like why you do this? <laughs> he was one of them, man. Come on, he was 100. He was one of them. All right, I don't want to. I don't want to rant too much, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, well, well, we'll save it for when we invite him one day. I'm sure he's yeah. down. Yeah. I'll bring it up. He'll love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's say, say it was. It was nice. I got to do a little bit of nightmare with Husky, and I watched him get his pet right in front of me when I was still <laughs> zero items. Dude, I got like four yeah. pets that league, bro. Dude, I'm still at zero <laughs> pets across both leagues. Yo, Rice, I just yeah. want one of them. Like, I don't care. I'll even take a stupid beaver or something or like oh, some dumb skilling pet the rates aren't none. even increased the you, didn't get, you didn't get a pet cold one last league no i didn't get a pet in any league <laughs> my suck, suck buddy i uh, have five pets in leagues dude, what'd dumb you get last league? Like three what'd you get last league because i got four as well you did yo yeah. i got mole uh i got um fuck tlb pet uh what's the two other ones there was two other ones i just Wait, can't no. remember I can't remember. When you're done, I got something. I, I got to yeah. correct something. Yeah, I, I don't remember, so go on. Just go on. All I right. So I lied. I technically did get a pet, but I also didn't at the same time. So a buddy of mine let me a buddy of mine let me borrow his account because he had the Candor and Asgardia Mauritania build, like, you know, the meta melee build. Oh. I, want, I wanted to send speed solo tops, and uh, yeah, I got him his Versic pet. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I, oh, I actually, saw that pop up. I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Yeah, I got the Zami <laughs> one as well, and I forgot what Ooh, the fourth dude, one. Is. That one is so cool. I yeah, love the Zami Yeah, I have the omelet and the other six. Man. I have I have both rates, man. Like, what the you fuck? You got a lot of pets, man. Oh my I wish God. I could have a train follow me, bro. You know. Wouldn't that be cool? Little uh, pets, and they get smaller and then smaller. And oh, you, yeah, dude. you know, like those little ducks falling. Yeah, I want. Yeah, those yeah. Pets, dude. Okay, um, right, anyways, let's yeah. say last question of the podcast, league related. If there is another league, oh, what would you stuff. expect yeah, slash want for the next league? I oh, uh, I want something that kind of makes it feel like Twisted League again. So I'm sure all of us can agree with it. Trailblazer League felt like just accelerated main yeah, game account. Fast. It was too fast. Not not even just that. Everybody's in like max gear of the main game maybe with the exception of like chris larmer for Tarama yeah or something. no that was cool that was range build was pretty nice Dude, it was pretty good everyone's just like in void and bandos and shit meanwhile in twist league you got people wearing like just like blessed d-hide and a bunch of junk yeah they found, like, a garage was, sale yeah black d-hide ancestral hat yeah that was me i think yeah that was rocking i had the ranger set it was good times <laughs> Yeah, you nah. want clue scroll, Andy. Yeah. yeah, no, I agree. Some uh, some changes there. I don't want to see people in bandos. Yeah, day three. honestly, I really don't. It, I, I, I did prefer Magic Shortbow. Like it was her awesome. main accounts, yeah. you know. Yo, Magic Shortbow like raids was awesome. Was that shit was so fun? I was like, dude, Magic Shortbow acting like a blowpipe. Ah, so good. So the animation stole yeah. from like casting blast spells. You remember that? Yeah, that shit was so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Just like start rubber banding, and then my character just teleports because it didn't know where it was anymore. That was great, dude. Any, yeah. yeah, 
I want no, a random. Just... I want a randomizer league to be honest, just because. I mean, league is kind of like a private server thing, right? And like, what what do people love to do when they mod their games, right? Make that shit fucking random, you know. Yeah, like, like I've been doing Majora's Mask, just randomize where everything is. Yeah, I would love a randomizer league because it would really force people to play so different. They can't be like expecting the same things that they do, right? Because Trailblazer was all always like, yeah, okay, I do this thing, I get this thing, and then I go to this thing, I get this thing. You know what I mean? They they were already able to plan the path, no problem. So, so it it was just so streamlined. So. So what I'm hearing is funner mechanics, maybe a little more private server-ish, cut back the experience. Yeah, oh um, yeah, dude. Like, Or, or limit the time on the teleports, please, you know? Yeah, and if I had to add one thing overall, because I don't really care where it is, I, I'm just down to play a whole different game mode. Just, you know, cut the XP rates, right? Make it so that it feels like you're progressing fast, but not like you're uh, on cocaine or something, man, right? Just... And oh no, we covered that already. I wasn't gonna say is um yeah. balance. Sorry. Yeah, balance. Yeah, moderation. <laughs> I think we need a little more. Uh, I don't care so much about the moderation. I just wanted to have that league feel where it feels like. Well, you're I mean, I also want a progression that can last two months rather than like oh I kind of finished in a month because like last yeah, league bro I, had that I too. last league bro I was like a month in and I was already like man I don't have much to do to be honest you know it was yeah. like I could max. For the dragon yeah, rank, but, the boring stuff the last yeah. couple of weeks. Yeah, it was kind of dry, you know. Twist League, I was like, dude, we played the whole two months. I, I, I was like, yo, I need more time. Yo, like, I need more time, bro. I was like, stop, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. Twist, do, do you think part of the time. reason for that was because the first one was uh, significantly smaller, slower? Like yeah, it was slower, man. It was slower. Oh yeah, yeah. it was I mean, because it was slower, man. Run. Bro, you Some know what the best XP I could get was? I think it was like four AX or something. Whereas in Trailblazer, it was like 12, 16x, and you had the teleport on top, which which was insane. I literally, like, it was like three times faster than Twisted League. No joke. Three times faster. It was insane. Yeah. So. so I would say maybe what I meant to say earlier was um, balancing-wise for the relics, right? Yeah, that I wanna, too. I agree. Because the teleport. Every build have a reason, yeah. right? Every yeah. build can rank one if you have the right strat that's what i would love to see because once you have you know or they are the gap a bit more right you got a watchable tournament on your hands we're talking cash prize lots of viewers once you have a balance once you have different strats you're gonna have you're gonna like you remember in dead man mode there's only one strat right kill everyone but when wooks was eating those lobsters i don't think i've seen a crowd more hype (laughs) mode and the man was eating lobster yeah that yeah i I was like my jaw i was like yo what yeah, fuck? I was at Twitch. I was watching that live next to Foxy Box. I'm like, is this real? That is crazy. And that's the kind of feeling I want to bring back to League, yeah. where strategy matters. Not like time play. Time play is good, but strategy is what matters. I want that. I want different builds. I want strats. Yeah. I mean, if if the teleport had a cooldown, I think it would have been way closer. You know. Anything. If, if they could add anything, but I don't want to start again. I mean, I'm seriously yeah. angry about that. I'm. Mm-hmm. Re- Okay. Worst day. Uh, uh, wait, wait, Colin, you want to talk about Pokemon cards? Uh, <laughs> or was that a joke? <laughs> no, I'm not <laughs> well, I know. think it's, it's I'm curious, where the hell is the hype of Pokemon cards like just come from? Like someone told me it's like gambling, but with like cool cards and stuff in a way, like Pokemon pack openings. Like, I don't know where, like, everybody and their mom's just on it. <clears throat> I mean, Rexy knows so, he's an expert. Yeah, I'm yeah. quite heavily invested into Pokemon, so. Uh, there was obviously like a massive uptick with uh, Logan. Uh, you know who Logan Paul is? Like everybody knows who Logan Paul is. But, yeah, uh, Donkey's got a poster of him on his wall that keeps falling down. <laughs> oh man, you should definitely get some more blue tag for that thing. Okay. But yeah, he uh, he ended up uploading a video of him, like Pokemon videos, him opening a box. And it, it was like a, a big uptick. But to be totally honest with you, uh, as soon as the coronavirus hit, uh, that shit was already on an uptick. Sorry for saying that word, by the way. I nah, that's all good. Um, I think it's pretty aged now, so. Bleep it, bleep it. I like the word up dog better. That's fine. Dude, we're, we're an hour in, so who cares? So, like, I don't think it'll matter. So, yeah, there was there was already, like, an uptick with it. And I, I think what it was, in all honesty, was people were spending a lot more time at home. I mean, here, at least in the UK, like, we're still technically yeah, right. in, like, a sort of, like, semi-lockdown right now. It's not as tough as what it was. You can go out and stuff now. But there was, like, months where we weren't allowed to go out unless you're going to the shops. Like, that's it. You had If you're going to, like, the grocery store, that was acceptable. Or if you were going to a work where you had to go to work, 
that was acceptable. Uh, so I think a lot of people were at home and like, yeah. you know, a lot of people have kids and you got to find some hobbies that you can do at home that don't require you to go out and like Pokemon was just there, you know, and I think that it, our generation, uh, I think it touched a lot of people like myself and a lot of people like my older brother, oh, like absolutely. loads of people being touched by Pokemon and dude, like if you're, say for example, you have a kid and you got nothing to do. And you see like some Pokemon cards or like whatever. It's like, oh, that might be a cool thing to get back into, like collecting or playing the game and uh, enjoying opening those packs with like your kids and stuff. I, I think a lot of people had a lot of enjoyment from doing that. So uh, I think it was generally just people needed like a hobby to do inside, which, you know, and uh, Pokemon's just like that perfect thing. It just fit. Yeah, it was the perfect like, storm. So perfect. It, you know, it used to be baseball cards. So I could see anything being hype now. Yeah or baseball cards sorry i mean baseball cards. I, think, I think sports cards are still popular yeah. but um, oh, yeah. i think it's more of like an older generation for the most part yeah. to be totally pokemon honest pokemon is also way more ones. pokemon is also way more international you know oh way god more, yeah it's huge more. in japan it's everybody, huge everywhere like everybody dude it's it. It, it's I, I can't remember the exact term but it's like it, it's like the number one like gaming toy slash gaming franchise or something. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, like 100%. Pokemon just applies to so many people. It's like you take somebody who you he, take somebody like a, a random female that's never heard of Pokemon, and you show them Eevee, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, it's cute, it's adorable, whatever." Like, and that, if they don't say that, don't go out of her. She's fucking weird. <laughs> but you know, like most people are gonna be like, yeah, uh, "Yeah, they can get on board with it," you know? Yeah. No, I agree, man. Um, unless you're me and you're just a massive nerd. And you've been collecting for like fucking years dude, and years. When are you before. Gonna retire, bro. Cool. But what can I say, dude? I'm just one of the cool yeah, kids. Yeah, you're OG. You're OG. So you've been collecting I mean, Pokemon I, I for like the years, bro. When are you going to yeah. retire? All right. It's uh, it's really sad, actually. I got these right here. Oh, so, man. I knew he was going to show us something. These. I knew he's got some new products. Oh, are those OG? These are just on my... close? So these are yeah. sealed uh, yeah, oh. fossil booster packs. Oh boy! I remember yeah. there was a place, John's Incredible, where I used to go, and you could turn cards in for those Pokemon booster cards. But back then, they weren't like as rare, you know. Oh, they, they were, were kinda like they were just like a pack. And now it's the, okay. Oh, it's okay, baby. Pull these just just like well, the rankings. What's the rating? Oh man! What's All right, show us the rating. I just popped show the show. So, What's yeah. the rating? I, I'm in. It's sad because well, it's kind of sad, but like it's I'm not, in the bro. process of selling this it. stuff off at the moment. Yeah. I've just started selling stuff on my eBay store because uh, me and the missus are trying to get a deposit for a house. So oh, sadly, oh, damn, some of the yo, the cards going, are gonna do it. it. The cards are gonna do it for you. You know, they're gonna help. I mean, to be honest with you, like so, I have, and I'm not flexing. I have the complete first edition base set. Shadowless, unlimited. Like I've got all that stuff, uh, but I don't want to sell that at all. Like mm. that's the last thing that I would sell. I would sell everything before I had to sell that. Well, I'm talking. I'd sell my car. I'd sell my fucking computer. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to sell that. And I'm buying a house which is within a budget that I can afford. And hopefully, the day might come when I have to. But I'm hoping it won't be now because do I've it, got bro. a lot of leftovers and duplicates where. I can get rid of the stuff that doesn't have that much sentimental value to me, Yo, no. and it's gonna it's gonna be a decent chunk anyway. Yeah, don't sell so, yourself what? away, bro. That's a part of you now. You well, know? people, no, think, definitely. Don't I don't it. want to, man. People no. think crypto is going up, but Pokemon cards in general, like those first edition Charizards. I mean, the longer you keep them, you're not doing yourself any. You know, it's good. It's, I mean, like, it's, it's gonna go up. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's it's, 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 it's time tested at this point. It's like you know. here, here's the thing. It's definitely past the test of time, and it's like. Mm -hmm. The first, there's a lot of stuff. Some stuff got inflated a while back. So I won't go too deep into it, but like some things sold for more money than what they were worth. And as somebody yeah. that's been like collecting them for a long time, seeing certain cards go for stupid prices, and I'm like, I've got a thousand in my fucking cupboard packed fresh, and they're going for how much? It's like people who didn't do the research the new that people, came into right? Pokemon. Yeah, the new people. Yeah, like some people got fucking burnt big time. Like you've no idea. I'm talking like thousands, if not tens of thousands. Some cases, maybe even 100K. But like there's different markets in Pokemon, but like the first edition stuff, like that's its entire own market. Like that's that's in a different, a different fucking it's a realm. Game compared yeah. to like yeah. Yeah, it's a different realm, bro. You know? So you're yeah, saying the day is to be a Pokemon master. 
right? Yeah, a card well, master. Definitely. <laughs> but, yeah. but, like, but like, this is this is the thing. Like, it all depends on what you get into stuff for. Because here's the bottom line, right? Is my Pokemon collection? I could sell it right now, and I could probably eat steak every day for the next two years. Okay, but at the same time, I didn't fucking buy my cards, and I didn't even think about selling them. Like, I bought them for me. I was like, I want these for me. This wasn't me buying them to resell them or make a profit or even an investment. It's just as time's gone on, it's like, wait, the card that I paid 40 quid now is worth how much? And it's it, it's a bit crazy, but I don't want to sell it. Like, I really don't. I want to show my kids my cards one day. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I will do everything I have to, like, not to sell them. But at the same time, it's kind of like a nice backup plan. It's like, if they did end up going to like some stupid price and I was like, damn, I can pay off yeah. like my, my mortgage with this, then sure thing. So, Dude, so it's, it's really possible too. Mm -hmm. So back to a cold one. So, yeah. you know, cold one used to compete in Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm pretty Ooh, sure. Right? Did you have like a name you went by or is it just a cold one? Now we're going back. Yeah. Go uh, back, yeah, bro. Back then. Yeah. Oh. Do you think, do you think Yu-Gi-Oh cards are going to get to the point where it blows up? I mean, it already they has. Are. Go look at the yeah, price already. of the Legend of Blue Eyes, uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon, or Legend of Blue Eyes Dark Magician. Maybe I'm saying yeah. maybe like similar to, to the rate of Pokemon. God, maybe. So many of those. I think I lost. Yeah. A couple of my friends still invest heavy into the game. Like some of the oldest cards from like the first couple of sets of their first edition and mint, they sell for thousands. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I, I, I personally, I think that Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, if you go and look at prices on Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, like there's a market for it. In my personal opinion, I don't think it will get as big as Pokemon, and it's not like a Pokemon's dick's bigger than Yu-Gi-Oh's dick. Yeah. It's simply a case of popularity. Exactly. And, well, then again, it is saying that Pokemon's dick is bigger than Yu-Gi-Oh's dick. It, it is. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, it, 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 you know, you know, a cold one. There's like those, 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 those times when you just don't need to state something because no. you already know it's true. Yeah. Bro, it's a Rayquaza. Hey. hey, that's a fake, man. I can see the gloss on that shit. No, Rip it's it. not fake, bro. <laughs> real, oh, yo, that's Gorse. Yo, that's my boy. That dude's won me so many guy, games. So and that dude's Tommy also lost me so many man. games when I run into one like a clown. Yeah. So here, here's like a question. A cold one. I didn't I didn't know you did Yugo. That's cool as hell, man. Bro. Um, yeah. yo, do I got you this still in have your... I got this in Elm Nation, bro. Yo, that's it. It's not first edition, though. Do you still have your original collection or any valuable collectibles from like the first edition line and also nope. when you did your tournaments and competed um <clears throat> did you do you have any frame of reference in terms of comparing that to like say a pokemon tournament in terms of size and popularity uh, so i'm gonna say both my collection Dude. i only kept a binder of like some stuff that is on the ban list right now in hopes that one day it comes off and all the cards shoot up in price because of demand like, if you remember the card Royal Oppression by any chance, I don't know if you've played. Yeah. yeah. I have a stack I, I, of I over 150 yeah. of those that I either didn't pay for or I paid, like, a quarter for. And I've just got stacks of them waiting for it to just come off the list because they'll shoot up to, like, maybe five, ten dollars a piece or something. But, nice. like, my actual Vex collections, I, I don't keep anything else. I sold it all off years ago. You guys are yeah, a bunch dude. of merchants, if you think about it. You're a bunch of rare merchants. You merchandise like random rare things that not a lot of people do. Yu-Gi-Oh Yo. cards, Pokemon cards. Yeah, I don't know. Why I, I never invested into like the rare like face cards, like Dark Magician Girl or Blue Eyes Red Dragon. Wait, is that first oh, dead? Red no, not, that's Red Eyes Blue wish. Dragon. I wish, bro. I wish it was. Yeah. Wait, how? Only... Wait, hold up, hold up. I can. I'm gonna grab some Yu-Gi-Oh cards because oh. I do have some. <laughs> now it's now we're oh. talking. Now it's an old yo, school. Dude, All right, this yes. shit. Wait, yo, this is first some. edition. Is it? Is this worth anything? Uh, hell no. I can already tell what that card is. That card sucks. Oh fuck. Dude. I remember. I remember that guy. Man. All right, we're gonna keep going. I gotta take a whiz. But that that goes in the junk binder. Well, dude, yo, what about the Dark Creator Limited Edition? Anything good on this? Uh, is that the tin? The one that came from the tin? Yeah, that one. That one came from the tin. That's a super rare. Uh, the secret yeah. one would probably be worth something because it came from a pack. But you got that yeah, anytime you bought it. Then. Yo, would you guys uh like? Would you like to take a little peek inside of my little magical cupboard? Yeah. Uh, which wait, it depends. Which one are we talking about? I have one. I'll show you, bro. It's a surprise. We uh, gotta keep it PG thirteen though. Right. Yeah, yeah. We gotta keep that. So Can maybe not the cupboard I was thinking of. Hmm. Yo, I used to have this beat stick. Oh thing, my man. good lord! What in the good oh God's God. name of you, fucking nerd? <laughs> Those containers are just filled with like singles, but I got a bunch of like booster boxes in there as well. 
Oh so, my god. Yo, wait, oh, I don't have my Chaos Emperor Dragon. Really what the like heck? Japanese ones. It's probably my other, other thing. The Collectione. I was beautiful. checking to see if the Chaos Emperor was first edition or not. Because that'd be a banger, you know, the Chaos Emperor Dragon. Dude, Ree, you'll probably like this. Oh, one. hell yeah. I, I have the game. But my Pokewalker died because I, I used to run with it and the sweat kind of killed it, so. I remember that game. That one was fun. Yeah, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Gen 4 was so much fun. Especially so, the Pokewalker edition was really nice. I'll grab these uh I'll grab these uh Yu-Gi-Oh cards and you can tell me if they're first edition. I'm pretty certain they actually are. Um, it'll say, it'll say on it hmm. like you can very visibly see yeah, it. Yeah, it's on the like, middle the left. Picture. Middle left. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure I just got given these when I bought a Pokemon collection. The guy just chucked them in like but bearing in mind this is back when like Yu Gi Oh didn't. Yo, really you know, have there much was a point. I guess. Dude, there was a point when Yu Gi Oh was just so so big. It was even bigger than than Pokemon. Honestly, it was like a few years, mm -hmm. in like middle school. I'd say it was so huge, dude. Like honestly, right. Pokemon so, didn't even have anything on it on, on Yu Gi Oh. You're time. gonna have to tell me these are good. I'll turn the light round so you can see. I can already tell that one's that's booty juice. Booty <laughs> juice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember they that. They got something called Sheehan's Dojo. Booty juice. <laughs> I have a. Yo, I don't know if it's first edition, first edition. I have the same card that Re has. Wait, does it say first edition? Hold up, hold up. No, it doesn't say first edition oh, on it. Rip. I think it's the starter deck Joey one. Yeah, uh, look at the letters like just below the picture on the right it... side. Does it say SDJ or does it say LOB? Yeah, it's a starter uh, deck. SDJ one. on yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that, that one's junk. That came from the starter deck. Yeah. Dude, All right, one sec. Let me bad. see if I got any. F I'm pretty sure I've got a first edition. Yo, they need first edition Legend of Blue Eyes, you know, Red Eyes by Dragon, dude. That's mm -hmm. that's that, how much does that sell for? You know, like probably thousands. Uh, Yo, do you, remember, do you remember this one, one, dude? Oh, oh yeah, language? yeah. It's probably starter deck stuff. Yeah. Junk card. <laughs> I, I think it is. Let me just see if I do have any starter first editions. Like I did. This is weird because we all grew up in this generation and now they're rare. Mm -hmm. We're all old, okay. man. Yeah, so I got a few first I'm editions limited. here. I'm first edition. Is this <laughs> is this your jam? Is that a card? Oh, no, I remember that card. Revival it's not jam? used. It might be worth something if it's first ed. It is that's first from Lab That's from Labyrinth of Nightmare. That's the fifth booster box yeah. that it came from. It might be worth that's something. First, this, this one's first edition as well. Oh, if that's from Magic Ruler, look at the uh, the letters again I told you to look at. Does it say MRL? Yeah, it does. Oh, that, might, that one actually actually might be worth something. Oh, dang. Dude, I just got these thrown in with a Pokemon order I did a few. That's first edition as well. Yeah, yeah. that one might that. have value to it because it did yeah. see a lot of meta play in a few formats. Rakes, he the best merchant in the world, and he doesn't Dude, even know it. Car merchant, bro. He's so a Pokemon. This too. one is SDJ as well, so yeah. I'm guessing it's not worth yeah. anything. Cool. That's from a video game. That's not from SDJ. That's from like SJY, I think. Yeah. All right, uh -oh. guys, boys, we've been going on for an hour and thirty. And yeah. we are now talking about Yu-Gi-Oh cards, all right? It's, it's an so official old school. 300 podcast. likes so we can upgrade the stream <gasps> further. Dude, I got a fucking... I just found a Black Lotus. You want to see it? Uh, what the heck is that? You don't know what a Black... Dude, Re, listen to me right now. I'm going to educate you, okay? Educate I know very little about Magic the Gathering. Okay. But if you ever go into, like... If you ever go into, like, a dollar store or something like that or a charity shop and there's a card there called a Black Lotus buy that fucker mm -hmm. okay because those cards are worth up to hundreds of thousands hundreds so this kind of this kind of looks hundreds. like it. it looks really nice oh, that's, that's, that's debated come on bro this is a, this is a shitty yugo card man no it's not it's not obviously, obviously i don't have a black lotus come on bro it, it looks look like, like it yeah. Bieber. Oh, this is called black pendant it's a first edition that oh looks really wow nice. the word black's in there great <laughs> and tomato tomato dude all right so, you know, shall, shall we wrap bro? up then yeah, yeah, I think we should wrap up, man. I think All we can right. go on for hours also, here. I'll, I think, I'll, yeah, end, I think on my, I'll end on my, my absolute favorite card, uh, and it is just a starter deck. one. Dark one Magician? Hell yeah. Yo, oh, if you had that's Magician, the only one I know, had, baby. Dark Magician oh, Girl, oh, first edition from the pa from the actual pack. Dude, God, he's got a crush on her growing up. That would have been she... tens of dude, thousands. Dude, I, 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 I might list some of those. It's everybody's editions. crush, you know? you know? It was my crush back in back in the younger days. They didn't dude. have to make her this, so thick, dude. Does this bring back memories from the day? <laughs> oh, fuck Damn, yeah, dude. We got the whole pack to open it. You got the one with the Zapdos yeah, this, on it? This, one, this okay, one's okay. open. I opened right. this. This was actually oh, a Shadowless okay. pack as well. The cards were Shadowless. It's, uh, this was very unlikely to be Shadowless because it's not long crimp at the bottom. 
and it's really rare to get these in okay, Shadowlands. Okay, now we're talking about like tick manipulation in card games now. <laughs> Oh, okay, I mean, all right. Bryce, you know what you gotta do, man. All right, we're gonna wrap up. Okay, thanks for watching today. We'll try to be. Uh, we'll try to get another person for next week, right? We're yeah, just gonna man. say thanks that for now. Coming on, Colwood. We're gonna say that now. Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do now, Cole? What's what's the plan? What's your uh, you know links? All those goodies. Yeah. You know? Where can the people find you, bro? Yeah. This man's grabbing Yu-Gi-Oh oh, cards. Oh no! Isn't he? This <laughs> man's grabbing me. Yu-Gi-Oh cards, isn't he? What have you done? Uh, well, well, we'll have to wait for him to come back before he closes. You know. God damn it, dude! Wait, so did either of you have like your Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or anything? I have. I, but have... I don't know where I put them. I have a whole drawer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where. Dude, I put they them. Might... I think it's upstairs. There might be worth something. Breaks, you fly down, and I'll give you half the profits, dude. dude Maybe my... you'll make your money back. Dude, my best cards yes. got jacked. I don't think it's if I fly cool. down, I'll make any money, but <laughs> if you want to post them to me, I can sell them. <laughs> uh, oh, man. I don't know. They could be worth something. I got a bunch. Yeah. I got a bunch of them. Yeah, I got, oh, actually, Yo, in the comments, favorite Pokemon. If you if you reached if you reached the end, you know, to, uh, give us your, some of your favorite Pokemons. Let's go. Yo, <laughs> why don't we do Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh? Which oh, one? Oh, that or that. Is that even a challenge, dude? Pokemon versus Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! cards are cooler. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! cards are cooler. because You have a bunch of awesome games, movies. I mean, Pokemon's world around. You got Yu-Gi-Oh! You got some weird... Pokemon games? Okay, Pokemon wins. But Pokemon, but card games, I'd say Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, I don't know about the card games yet. I didn't really play Yu-Gi-Oh! or anything like that, but like, I always get recommended a video on YouTube that's like... um Like, flaws in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, yeah. They change the metas all the time. Yeah, and like how just like contradictory it is, and yeah, like, it Cole? doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's, it's got, it's man, yeah, it's rest in peace, dude. Did, did he actually say he was grabbing his Pokemon? I don't know. I okay, actually, he might have lost internet or something. Man, oh, no, I reckon another trees on. landed on the line, well, bro. Uh, we anyone can do a cold one accent. We yeah, can finish yeah, this yeah, up he, right he's, now. He's a homie, so you know, it's uh, we'll we'll just have to leave. We'll just have to cut off now. Then. What do you mean? I'm right here. Okay, okay, all right. He's back. Oh my god, where were you, dude? Oh, right here. What do you mean? He's what always been here. here. We were yeah, I grabbed for? a. I have a. I have a, like a deck that we have for like an old format. It was like old stuff, like really, really old stuff. Wait, how are you gonna show it Yo. to us? <laughs> Bring them to you. I'll show you after. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. okay, we're gonna wrap up hey. though, right? So, Cole, yeah. links yeah. and yeah, all the inspirational stuff. Three hundred likes, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us. If you get yeah. to if you get this video to five hundred likes, Rakesy will open a pack of Pokemon cards next stream. I can do that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that, mate. I got some, show us uh, like Japanese your your ones ready to go, bro. Show us your pack opening techniques and like the philosophy. Oh, God, he's just like you know. He's <laughs> <laughs> got hey, the whole thing. Oh, dude, like... it all depends on the origin of the pack, man. Like, all right, you, packs, you explain you all that. Okay, okay. Save, save that for next. next. I don't want to hear about no origins yeah, no of the pack. No spoilers. Okay, save it for next. All right. Anything else? All right. Yeah, but yo, boys, down in the comments, let us know Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. Also, if you've made it this far. We freaking love you. Yeah, Thank you yeah, for being so cool. Awesome. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed. Wait, did Colin already do all his links? Uh, yeah, we'll shoot that out real quick. Yeah, uh, good, Twitter's OSR underscore cold one, and Twitch is just a cold one. Pog. And, uh, we'll yeah. link you down below, yeah. bro. Yep. So we'll make sure. Yeah, check out my boy. And he, I was about. To, I keep friends. almost saying chat. YouTube. Yeah. Make sure you go and follow a cold one. He is a, yeah. a mighty PVMer. Insane. You guys will be impressed. <clears throat> all right. All right. I'll, we'll uh, get off now. Yeah.